Yesterday's price is not today's price. Give me a second, I'm trying to select the appropriate weapon. Uh, watch where you stepping. Them snakes all around, you know they're connected. Uh. When I was a kid, my grandmama told me I can't go to heaven So I stopped praying and asking for blessings And started preparing for my Armageddon Got nothing to lose, I'm all in Walking the edge, don't fall in Enough of the lies, don't apologize I don't understand, are you foreign? This is the place, this is the site Grab all your people and log in I'm waiting, don't care how long it's gonna take Yes Oh, today's price is today's price right now as we are live. We are back in freaking action, baby, just a week away from NFL passion. We're coming with style and fashion as your friends on the 3rd and 3 podcast to call an opening day game between the defending champion LA Rams and the front runner this season when it all the Buffalo Bills. We'll see if we agree. It is prediction show, baby. We're talking our oof, whole bunch of NFL, and we're going to take our NFL pills we're going to head for the hills and away for the thrills that await the 2022 NFL season. Welcome back in, everyone, for another fun-filled edition of the 3rd and 3 podcast. And this is a very, very special episode because the prediction show is on. Everything from the regular season MVP to the Rookie of the Year all the way to the Super Bowl winner last year. Everything. I mean, everything you want. Rams, Bengals, tie to fight from last year. We're going to make a prediction as who's going to get there this year. We're going to pick every category, league leaders, I mean, everything. I'm really excited. And let me welcome in my partners in football crime right now. Starting your tricky, Nikki Gist. What is happening? What's up? How are you guys? I am Woo! Amp. Week one is coming. This is the big prediction show. I can't believe we are here, but I am good. I am I am tired. Giants camp went a little long today. So you know how it is sitting on the turnpike coming from that life. So, but you know, we're here. We're here. When you're a, when you're a wanted person, that's what you have to do. You have to, you know, go with the struggles. You know, you're wanted all over the planet. You know, they need you. Hey, what's up, Ma? She's saying what's up. Yeah, your daughter is really uh she's she's going crazy over here. It's unbelievable. I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> I don't uh, know she's either. gonna leave us. Athletic's gonna give me a sponsorship. That's what's gonna happen next because this is their cute one shoulder sports bra that you can actually wear and run around and be comfortable. You see, and you heard it here in the first two minutes of the freaking show. How do you like that? How about it? What up, D? The real deal's in the house, baby. What's happening? You're damn right. She's amazing. <laughs> What's happening, man? I'm um, very excited about today's show. I was thinking about this. I have ra super random thoughts that go through my head. Probably why I'm a decent podcast, because my mind is just weird like that. But <laughs> I was thinking, <laughs> if you compare podcasts to like food dishes, Third and three podcasts would be a pretty good dish, right? Yeah. Right amount of flavor, nice mix and match of different flavors to bring you a good dish. Yeah. It'd be like a, it's one that everybody enjoys, like a New York pizza, right? Like everybody enjoys a New York pizza. I think the third and three podcast is something that everybody can enjoy. But I feel like today, today is going to be a spicy episode. It's like a, a jambalaya or a crawfish A2 face. It's going to be real spicy today. Ooh. A lot of... Not just salt and pepper, but some cayenne in there, some hot oh. sauce in there. Today's going to be a really spicy episode. So if you're watching, share it with everybody because we want your predictions. Courtney, you want your predictions as well. Tune, tune in, chime in, because today's episode is going to be spicy. And I know we're going to have some bets out there. As you can see with my name on my screen, if you're watching live, I had to start, with Jay pretty, start messing with Jay pretty early today. But it's going to be a spicy episode. <laughs> He's just jealous, that's all, because we got five <laughs> weeks and he's got one. That's all there is to it. I understand the jealousy. I know where it comes from. And, yes, it has been a long time, and I was 14, and you were four, you young little child that you are. All right? So, yes. But there was the glory days. It was a beautiful thing, and what a team we did have. And I'm hoping that we have something similar like that again. That would be a beautiful thing. But we are here, ready to rock and roll. We hope you're doing well. We want you guys to join in, obviously. Live, we're going, I don't know how long it's going to take, but we're going to go through, our, like I said, our league leaders, playoff teams, division winners, you know, rookies of the year, you know, all sorts of the awards, coach of the year, MVP, all the way up to the Super Bowl. And who the hell knows what my two freaking crazy ass co-hosts got? I have no idea. But whatever. My dumb ass name is Jason Fearman, a.k.a. The Sports Profit. And the third three podcast is presented by The Sports Column and brought to you by Reebok, the deal of the week, still going strong. So you better get them while they last because I was checking out. They're going to start with a new deal. So you better get on these bad boys real quick. $39.99 with the code rewind at checkout. That's the Reebok rewind 
shoes. Get them. They're hot. Good deal. On another way to get discounts, step into the prehistoric future in Reebok's latest collaboration with Jurassic World. And let Third and Three hook you up. Go to third and three podcast.com to get these discounts and other things like beer drop. Meatworks. We haven't dropped that on you in a while. You know, to wet your whistle a little bit and fill your belly with all that great food and drink delivered right to your door. And that shipping stuff is still freaking free. Awesome. Look, we're going to have to bypass a lot of things today, guys. We wanted to do, of course, always knowledge with Nikki. We want to do, um, you know, Mount Player Player. There's so many different things that we add in, but we have so many damn things to do, guys. So we're just going to jump right into it. We're not even doing freaking neighborhood news. It's out. See ya. You want your neighborhood news? Go to a different damn website because we're not doing it now. We're not mainstream bullshit. We're ready to rock and roll. What's up, Pop? That's right. Best night of the week. Keep it going. All right. We're ready to rock and roll. So I figured we'd start, guys, with the league leaders and work our way down to playoffs, division winners. And I have to admit right off the bat, Nikki, I have changed my mind on a couple of things. So... It's amazing what two weeks can do to you when we're making our, you know, NFC awards and our AFC awards. But I got a couple of different ideas. Okay, so you're off Detroit. You've calmed down on my. Oh, I feel like still. Go that, listen, I know you're teasing the people, all right, but don't give them the goodies before they drop out of the bag. All right, come on, come on. All right, all right, D, you ready for this thing or what, man? We got a lot of stuff to do. No, I'm ready, and just like you, I've had some changes of heart when it comes to certain awards. Ones I'm going back and forth on. So, yeah. but tonight's the night. This is the final prediction. Got to do it. it. So, uh, it, it's a little nerve wracking. Yes. But I'm ready yep. to go. Yes, yep, because please. you two will hold, we hold it against each other the entire year. So will the yeah. listeners. So will anybody who's what? Well, yeah. I mean, no like, I think people write this down. Nikki, you said on August 31st that it's like, <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Sorry. That was, you know, it's February. One that. thing that the sports prophet can guarantee is that Damien has the Saints going to the Super Bowl. We have not no, talked about it. That is that just probably not right now because it, what is left? What's <laughs> left? He's Homer City again. He's Homer Simpson. We know him this way. This is the way that he is. Oh, God bless him. I'm my hoping... my Super Bowl pick last year was Bills 49ers. Just for the record, right. very close. Very very <laughs> close. Well done. Very well done. Hey, I'll take it this year. You know, I was he happy. He is all Saints gear tonight, so I feel like are we like telegraphing something or? No, this is just like the season's coming. <laughs> uh -huh. Had to put on the gear mm -hmm. to really signify like this is time. Like it's time for it to happen. Like this time next Thursday, we'll be calling a game. Yeah. Like this Ooh. is the time of the year where we're ready to go. I can't wait to call that game. And we have no plans of what the hell we're going to do. And that's exactly the way that we want it. We will just go and whatever comes out of our mouth. Um, I'm sorry. Put the earmuffs on the children because it's going to happen that way. I don't think any children watch our show. I, I mean. <laughs> right. <laughs> wow. Should we have to rate it like M-A-L-V, you know, mature audience, Probably language, violence, children. you know. Yeah. yeah. We'll have to put a disclaimer out there. All right, you older uh, people out there, watch your children. Older, look at me. I'm 42. I probably have a kid who was 36 by now, for Christ's sake. God, so old. Well, look at me. I had to shave the gray off my beard today, but whatever. That's not what the show is about. Let's freaking go. All right, so let's get to league leaders. First thing is first. Who's going to throw for the most yards in the NFL? Nikki, you have the option of going first. I will go first, and I'm going to say Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow. Okay, she's going with Joe Burrow. That's not like a bad call right there. He had something like 4,400 yards last year. And uh, yes, Courtney, we are doing not the Manning cast. We're doing the third and three cast. We're going to kick ass. I mean, it's going to be way better than that because you got Eli looking all freaking googly-eyed in the damn camera. It doesn't look googly-eyed. The yeah. awkwardness is part of the brand. No, it's not. It's yes. what it's oh, all yes, it about. Is. No, Why do you think they bring in... Why do you think they bring in a guest every 15 freaking seconds to all Eli Manning's freaking they bring in a guest whatever down per quarter? It's because Peyton's too busy actually watching and like coaching in his head. You know, they got to have some humor in it. Eli, like that's part of the, that's part it of it. I will say that it is a good combination because Peyton is so intense. Yeah. Uh, you could tell he's like literally watching the game and as he's thinking as if he's playing, like the way, how yeah. intense he's watching. Yeah. So you do need somebody to balance it out. So I guess Eli does that in a good way. He's also sweating his ass off, Peyton Manning. I mean, by like yes. five minutes into the first quarter, this guy is wet dripping. I mean, all over the place. 
I think the funniest thing is watching those two idiots eat. I might eat. I don't know, but we'll see. I don't know. So Courtney's got Justin Herbert uh, for his guy over there for what we're we doing, passing yards or touchdowns. What did I say? Passing yards. yards. Yeah, yards. Yeah, yards. All right. So you're going with Burrow. Not a bad pick. Herbert is certainly not a bad pick. And, uh, oh, Courtney does like the Manning cast. Okay, well, you're going to love the third and three cast. It's going to kick ass, man. Courtney's All right, D, what do you – what's up, Nick? I said, because Courtney's got taste. <laughs> He's also got a great damn show. He's the man. Yes, he does. Love I him. will be on it Saturday. Oh, look at you. All right, you see, again, being invited everywhere that we're not. All right. <laughs> That's not true. You got to have the platinum pass. Is that what's going on right oh, now? Well, platinum, yeah. maybe. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, all you got to do is flash your badge. You know, you're wearing it. Look, I am freaking tricky, Nikki. Get the fuck out of my way. I'm coming through. Flash my Giants badge. Uh, excuse me. Do you know who I am? <laughs> right? <laughs> You've earned that honor by now. I mean, let's go. Come on. All right. All right. So, Dean, what do you got? Most yards thrown for by a quarterback this year? I agree with Courtney. I'm going with Justin Herbert. I'm okay. predicting that he's going for 5,205 yards this year. Ooh, I like that. Well, that's a whole lot of freaking yards. Okay. I mean, he's capable. Look, he was second in the league last year behind Tom Brady, so it's certainly possible. And I'm going to tell you, as we say what's up to uh, James Earl Williams, what's up, man? Yes, let's go. The season is freaking here, ready to rock and roll. Uh, Justin Herbert was my guy for a while. And then I thought a little bit more. I'm like, their defense is going to be better than the team I was thinking. And I'm going to go with Derek Carr. Not only, you know, Devontae Ooh. Adams, yes. Hunter Renfro, yes. Derek Carr threw for 4,800 yards last year. So it's not like it's like, oh, wow, oh, my God, what's going to happen? No, it, he threw for a hell of a lot of yards. And he's threw for four over 4,000 yards the last four seasons. Now you give him Devontae Adams with the healthily healthy Darren Waller, Hunter Renfro, um, things like that co compared to, you know, Brandon Edwards and Zay freaking Jones last year. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Derek Carr. So I think he'll lead the league with yards passing. And that's also part and parcel with the Raiders. I don't think having a great defense and we'll have to be in some shootouts. So that's my rationale for that one. But let's move that's it on. Not, that's not a bad pick at all. Derek you like Carr, that? Yeah, Derek, I thought about Derek Carr. I thought about picking Derek Carr. Uh, 4,800 yards, like you mentioned, and is getting maybe the best receiver in the league to add right. to his repertoire. So I'm not mad at that pick at all. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, the, the new 5K is the new 4K. Brent's right. Yeah, your husband makes very good points. He's a smart guy. Don't, smart. Don't, come on, don't. Now I got to He is that. smart. Come on. Give him, he married you. He's smart, right? He did All a good right. job. He's smart, but he married Nick. That means he's smart and patient. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that I have. That is for sure. <laughs> I love it. By the way, I've drafted two teams so far in, in um, fantasy leagues, and Derek Carr is my quarterback for both of them. I did one last night real quick. Um, not that we have to go over it, but I got um, Taylor and Chubb. I got St. Brown, McLaurin. I got your boy, Michael Thomas, Elijah Mitchell. I got Mark Andrews, uh, Thielen, Cooper, Pollard, Kadarius Toney on the bench, Drake London, James Robinson. I think I did pretty good. I think I did pretty nah, that's good. A, that's, a good that's a good team for sure. I have I've only oh. done one draft so far. Uh, pretty good with the results. I was the 10th pick out of 10, and I ended up getting Joe Mixon and Kamara back to back. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I, so, yeah, I definitely can't complain about it. So, first draft went pretty well. I know tomorrow's going to be tougher for sure, though. Oh, tomorrow is going to be like, <laughs> I had one last night, but I had to, I don't know if you guys saw my tweet. I had to auto draft the back half of it because I had to jump on a podcast. And do you know the universe, like, they got my back because I got Matt Stafford. I didn't pick him. Oh, wow. That's what auto drafted. And <laughs> Daniel Jones. How funny is that? I, like, go scroll down to the bench. I was like, the hell is this? Daniel Jones? <laughs> trade bait. Trade bait right there. Yeah. yeah. You got a lot <laughs> Who am I going to offload him to? No you got a seventh round pick in 2020, 20, 30 or something like that. Yeah, right. I don't know. What. <laughs> Oh, geez. All right. We'll do our best to stay on track over here. How about the most touchdown passes? Dee, let's start with you. I'm going to go with Tom Brady. Uh, I think Tom Brady's going to have another good year. They're going to be throwing the ball a lot. He's going to get 45 touchdowns of being 45 years old. Yep. Oh, I like I it. Oh, look Brady at you with too. the symmetry. You got Brady, too. So do I. Trifecta City, third and three. Here we come. How you doing? I'm with you guys. Sound effect, D. What's the trifecta sound effect this year? Uh, it's try, try, try. <laughs> <laughs> try, try. This is like a rally cry, baby. Let's do it, dude. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. All right. I'm down with that. Woo. Okay, cool. Try, try, try. Tom Brady, <laughs> 45 years old. The thing I only worry about with that guy is, is the offensive line and the injuries that they've had so far. But, again, great receivers, and yeah, hopefully they put it together. We'll see what happens. So, anyway. Real, real quick, did you guys yeah. take anything away from his press conference where he's like, I'm 45 years old, there's a lot of shit going on. Do you think he'll be affected negatively going into the year? I just think that he's too professional for that, honestly. Yeah. I think – Put it aside like he does, you know, he puts his family like in a dungeon in freaking Alaska when he goes to play football. <laughs> so yeah, I think he's going to be fine. It'll work out. Dungeon in Alaska. It's like a sprawling mansion in South Beach, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> true. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> that that. No, I feel like he'll, yeah, he's just, I mean, God, he's been doing this so long. I feel like, you know, there's probably very little he can't just put aside and focus on the game. Yeah, there's yeah. one person that doesn't need training camp is him, for sure. Yeah. Right. Well, what's 11 days? Give me a freaking break. Come on. It's all good. Everybody's freaking out. They all need a story. If you call me one more freaking time, I'm going to go nuts. These telemarketers, I swear to God. Courtney's got Patrick Mahomes for the most touchdown passes. Interesting without Tyree Kill there, but maybe more guys will throw to him. All right. Well, how about leading the league in rushing yards? What do we got there, Nikki? Jonathan Taylor. Okay, I like that. He was my number one pick. I'll take it. <laughs> I like that a lot. I like that a lot. But I thought about this stat, guys. I thought about the fact that Derrick Henry was still leading the league after he was like seven games hurt in you know uh, last year. I, why can't he do it again? I know they are not as good a team. I do understand that. But again, A.J. Brown was out. Julio Jones was out. And Ryan Tannehill was the freaking quarterback. And I do believe that Malik Willis will be the quarterback sometime this year. It's another story for another day. But I'm going to go with Derrick Henry, D. I'm not mad at that when I went back and forth between Taylor and Henry. The only reason I have a cause to pause on Derrick Henry is, like you mentioned, lack of weapons on the outside. Can Tannehill do enough to make defenses respect that? Or are you going to have eight or nine in the box, maybe ten in the box at times, to mm. go ahead and just make sure that Derrick Henry is stopped at all no, any means necessary. So I'm going to go with Jonathan Taylor. Uh, put sure. 1,750 yards rushing for Jonathan Taylor this year. That's nice. That be Believe it or not, that'd be a dip below what he did last year because he had like 1,800 yeah. and something, which is incredible. Wow, it's amazing. Yeah, Courtney, his 11-day hiatus, 11 hiatus was probably on the mass Singer, you know, something like that. Be God, I hope that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. That would be funny. Just look for the worst dancer out there possible, and that's him. You know, he'll be pretty easy to spot. Uh, James is agreeing with me. He's going with Derrick Henry, but Henry is uh, out of gas. Too many carries, he's saying, for uh, Brent over there. Brent knows what he's talking about. Yeah, we'll see. Gonna, um, wait, what are they going to do? Just run Derrick Henry, Henry into the ground? I mean, you just can't yeah. for a while. That's what, that's what they're going to have to do. Really care? They don't care about him. He's they coming off an injury, start. though. I just uh, – I don't know. I don't love it. The, I'm the not foot saying thing is scary. The yeah. foot thing is scary. Yeah. yeah. I get it. I totally get it. I do. It's very hard to be back-to-back -back best running back in the league, even though Derrick Henry is one of the guys who's done that. But, hey, look, I hope you're right for fantasy purposes because uh, I want to win some money in this damn league over here. So that'd be interesting. Which Scoring, one? The Real Deal League? The, the Real Deal League is going to be the toughest league. Oh. That'll, it's going to be tough. There's Let no doubt. You, I'm on the trenches, which is that reality show. But I swear to God, I have more anxiety over the real <laughs> league than the entire world watching me draft next week. So <laughs> I love it. I love it. The whole world is going to be out there. Derrick Henry is like Sean Alexander, 2007. If I remember that year correctly, that'd be pretty damn good. I think. I think. But again, I'm old. About the 1800 yard year with Sean Alexander. So yeah, yeah. Hey, I'll. Well, anyway, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking he's going to lead the league in rushing, but. Scoring the most touchdowns, that's an interesting one. Um, man, I, I went through a lot with this one. Rushing touchdowns, so it's not combined necessarily. So you like to think of guys who are going to get to the goal line. And I'm going to go way out on a limb over here. And I'm going to say Javante Williams from Denver Broncos. I think they'll be able to move the ball down the field. I know, it, it's far-fetched. I, I do get it. I really do. But <laughs> – Derrick Henry is, I'm like, ah, do I want to have him in both categories? Is it going to be Jonathan Taylor again because they're going to box him in so much? But now that Russell Wilson is over there, William should be able to run more. And I know that Melvin Gordon is there. It's not the greatest pick, I'm not going to lie. But when I think rushing touchdowns, if they get down near the goal line, he'll be able to do his job there, Nikki. So 
I kind of went out on a limb with that one. I'll admit it. That is quite a limb. You're like yeah. all the way at the end of the branch a little bit. Like, I mean, <laughs> maybe, I mean yep. that's, I wasn't I'm at the end of my Dion that. branch. Well, let me ask you. Like, so I went Jonathan Taylor. That's okay. I have him in both categories. Why yeah. wouldn't that have been like your next best choice? Why, why would you go? They were. It's just that I feel like it's so hard to do it back to back seasons. I mean, he scored 18 freaking touchdowns last year. That's, I don't see him doing that again. Maybe he might get 14. I mean, it's possible. I thought about other guys, like, I don't want to give your picks away, but like Najee Harris, you know, I thought about him because he's the only single back over there. So I went through a few things, but I don't know. I, I, again, I like Denver this year. I just think that Nathaniel Hackett being over there, they're going to be able to score. Yeah, so, right. yeah, that was that's where I went. David is saying, David Dale is saying, don't sleep on Saquon and DeAndre Swift. All right. I agree. I don't think that Saquon will lead uh in um you know rushing tds but i do think saquon will have a comeback year in fact i know he will and i think he might be a top five running back he's got the upside to do it right and i would say yeah sure. he's got the upside I, will he lead the league in touchdowns uh rushing touchdowns like nikki like you said no so you said you went with jonathan taylor yep and uh, d you go you did the same thing no i went with nick chubb okay. nick chubb okay i was thinking about him yeah, I think that without Deshaun Watson, they're going to be even more dependent on the running game for those first 11 games. And then even when Deshaun comes back, you got to have him, you know, get, you know, re just readjusted to that offense and readjusted to the NFL game. This is going to be over, you know, almost two years since he played. Uh, so he's going to have time to really get in there. So I'm going to go with Nick Chubb. I like that. I feel that he'll be more rewarded because of his good behavior and Kareem Hunt's shitty behavior that he'll get the goal line touches. Yeah. So I do agree with you. Yeah, he was he was way up there. Courtney thinks Est, uh, Eston, look at me, Austin <laughs> Eckler will lead in uh, touchdown rushing. Um, he might lead the league in touchdowns completely when you talk about receiving and, and rushing. Maybe not rushing altogether. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. That's a good pick. Oh, oh, that's Mr. Primetime uh, 313. I recognize you, Dave. All right. Awesome. All right, let's get to our next one, bro. Um, who will lead the league in receiving yards? Nikki, how about you? Jamar Chase. You love them bangles, don't you? <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with his college teammate, Justin Jefferson. Those are both great picks. They're great. They're not as good as mine. It's Devontae Adams. Derek Carr's going to throw him the ball 500 times. Yeah, I, I, that's what I feel like. He really is. And he had, what, like 15 touchdowns last year? Missed a little bit of time. Not that much time, obviously. But, no, I think they're going to be a predominantly passing team. That's why I went with Carr you know, as far as throwing the most passing yards. So the most receiving yards, yeah, I guess it goes hand in hand. So I'll go Devontae Adams with this one. But, no, all good picks, all good picks, no doubt. The but reason I went with Justin Jefferson, all the talk about Minnesota has been this offense is going to be so pass-heavy now with the new coach. And Justin Jefferson in yeah. a run-heavy offense has the most receiving yards in the first two years of his career. So imagine with more passes what he's going to do. That's a good point. That's a really, really good point. Kevin O'Connell coming in, he's going to be doing his thing. James thinks Jamar Chase, he agrees with you, Nikki. Minnesota's going to have a big year. Uh, Dave is saying, yep. Justin Jefferson, Courtney's also saying, okay, okay. Um, I ain't mad at that at all. He's been absolutely unbelievable. And as long as Thielen can stay healthy on the other side, he'll have more one-on-one -on -one looks. So, you know, we'll get to it. All right, cool, cool. Um, how about leading the league in receptions, which is a totally different thing because you can catch the ball, bubble screens, line of scrimmage, Five yards, seven yards, slants, little hook routes, things like that. And to me, that just screams Tyree Kill. Tyree Kill, Tyree Kill, Tyree Kill. So receptions, <laughs> he could probably go about a buck twenty this year, which is a lot. It's not the record by, you know, Michael Thomas 149, as we all know over there. But I would I would go with him. Um, he's my guy, Tyree Kill this year. Again, uh Tua and those guys like to throw short passes predominantly, but we did see that. You know, Tua can make that long throw. That was about a 55-yard bomb in the year. That was a nice throw we had to Tyreek Hill. Be. It was okay. It was oh, like that. Oh, <laughs> that pass, the pass was behind him. Ego, yeah, Tyreek Hill did a great job of adjusting to it. But the cornerback was throwing him outside. He was throwing him outside so we can give him more room. It was behind mean. him, Jay. Behind. <laughs> we all saw it. Boo. Oh. Okay. Like Tyreek Hill, I don't know if he's going to catch a deep ball in stride all year, but we'll yeah. see. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going for most receptions. I can see Tyreek Hill, so I'm not I'm not going to poo-poo on that prediction too much. 
but I'm going to go Justin Jefferson again. Like I said, I think Justin Jefferson is going to have one of those historic monster seasons. Uh, for yards, I think he's going to have over 1,800. For catches, I'm going to go 125. Wow. We're talking offensive player of the year, maybe, possibly. We're not, I'm not going to say that yet, but damn, that sounds like even MVP numbers. Shoot. All right. Yeah, Dale, it was 55 yards in the air, and he's saying Tyreek or maybe even Cooper Cup. And Courtney's saying Cooper Cup again. Yeah, a lot of people are sleeping on him. Triple crown last year. Uh, that's a big thing. And Courtney's worried about two so do that twice in a row, man. It's oh, forget it. It's only yeah. been done once before. And obviously, by who? The greatest of all time, Sir Jerry Rice. Obviously, that's who we do it. Oh, well, yeah. He was on that team that I was four years old and they won. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, man. I like when it's you two and I can just. <laughs> Yeah, now you could just sit back and watch. Yeah, Damien yeah. was getting potty trained while I was cheering on my 49ers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, good stuff. And I like that we have some similarities, some dis disagreements, but how about receiving touchdowns? That's another category altogether when we talk about Triple Crown. Uh, how about you, D? What do you got? I'm going to go Jamar Chase for receiving touchdowns. I think it's okay. going to be super hard for Jefferson to get the Triple Crown. I do think Jamar Chase is going to have a monster year, so I'm going him for touchdowns. You like Jamar Chase. Okay, Jamar Chase getting a whole lot of love on this show. I got him in my other fantasy league, so I am mad at all that. Yeah, Dave, no no Debo. Um, yeah, I mean, he's just – he does a whole lot of different things. He's a guy we can even get into. I just thank heavens that we still have him on our team. They got a first year, I first year start right. throwing the ball. That's tough. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. That's what, it's, it's all a different story. It is. It is. A lot of things to think about, no no question, offensive line, all that sort of stuff. Um, Nikki, I also, I did go with Cooper Cup in this one because Matt Stafford just absolutely is completely in love with Cooper Cup. He wants him to have the ball every single time he can possibly give it to him, whether he's covered or not. So I think that he'll leave the league um, in, uh, in receiving touchdowns. Last year, I think he had 18, maybe not that many, maybe 16, but I think that's enough. Listen, I, anybody who's going to pick the Rams and give Matt Stafford his due and his credit, I am all about it. But I'm actually going to go Mike Evans for this one. Oh, Mike Evans. That's an out-the-box pick. Why would you go there? What do you mean? What do you mean? Why would I go there? <laughs> what do I mean? I asked well, you a Tom question. Brady, Tom Brady's going to lead the league. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That, well, then that could have been your answer. Not like, hey, so asshole. You, answer, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Why do I gotta explain myself to everyone? I am the okay. queen over here of podcast. She's, about to say, she's a Why superstar you now. She no longer has to explain herself to us, Jay. Hey, I guess. <laughs> Yes, no, so. but that was that was my thinking. Was like I have Tom Brady, you know, for most TDs. So and Mike Evans, would, yeah. All right. Well, okay. There's your rationale. As yeah. horrible as it was, you know, to, to give to <laughs> well, just make I, feel I just thought that was like a. Like a given because I had mentioned the Tom Brady thing. Yeah, okay. Well, all right, Mike Evans. That's a good one. I'll have a little side bet with you on that uh, here. How dare yeah. I think logically, right? Yeah, Do we have our God first bet? Do we have our first bet? I know some bets. Sounds are like it. Smelling good. Smelling a bet. What, what's Smelling the bet, bet, Jay? What? You think that I'm totally wrong on Mike Evans? Like I'm way off or something? In that category, I think you're off, yeah. That's okay. why I went with somebody else. If I thought you were right, I would have said Mike Evans. Are you comprehending mm -hmm. any of this stuff? Are you, are you getting it, what I'm saying? What's the bet? What is the bet? All right, so it's for touchdowns. What's the bet? Um, you will have to do a completely and totally unorthodox spike in your backyard or wherever you have room, and it has to be to mm -hmm. my doing. Like, you would have to do it with your left hand, behind your head, kick it over back your head, and then catch it with both hands. <laughs> And spike it down for a touchdown. That's what you yeah. got to do. You can work on mine for about three months because I won't have to do it anyway. <laughs> no, I'm not doing any of that. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, all right, all right. Hey, well, Dave's with you. He says he says Evans is underrated. I don't yeah, know because, about the most touchdowns. Yeah, well, these are we got smart listeners. You see, a couple people agree. I mean, those are the smartest people. <laughs> yeah, well, they are smart. I'll give them their credit. Some of us just, you know, like to agree, but that's okay. That's okay. I know where it comes from. I, I know you talk to people before the show and you get them on. You're like, hey, listen. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> I just now. Everybody come on and agree with me. Yeah, no, I don't. Yes. They, must on, they must be on that same Peloton network, me and Nikki on. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
Oh, shit. Speaking of all that, my mother is doing Pilates and she is 70 years old. God bless the woman. I don't, she cannot move at all. It's a nightmare for her. Pilates. She can give you some tips, Nikki. No, Pilates, Pilates is the best. I agree. Yeah, yeah. is it's that good? Get you in great shape quickly. It's hard too. I know it looks easy, but when you do it and you're on the reformer, oh my gosh, like you're just recruiting different muscles and it really does get you in great shape. All right. That's how good. I thought about yoga. I thought yoga was easy until I tried it. It's not. <laughs> yeah. Wow. No wonder why not everybody on the planet does it. Okay. Yeah. Now I know. All right. Let's hit the defensive side of the ball before we get into our 2022 NFL awards. And that is not just AFC, NFC. That is both, not separate, all together. So it's going to come together. We'll see if we kept ours from the last couple of weeks. Anyway, let's go to defense. Who will lead the league in sacks this year? Damian. Is it Cameron Jordan? Nah, nah. He's, 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 <laughs> he's going to have another good year, but he's never. I don't think he's ever led the league in sacks. But he'll have like 12 and a half, 13. But I'm going to go with a surprise pick here. I'm going to go with Joey Bosa. For the LA Chargers Ooh. to lead the league in sacks this year, I think okay. with the additions they made on that defensive side, Khalil Mack getting some yeah. of the attention over there, Joey Bosa is going to have a really good year. 17 and a half sacks for Joey Bosa this year. That's a lot. That's a great pick. That's a, That's That's a great good, pick. Though. All right. Very nice right there. I like that. I uh, I like that pick a lot. Very good. All right. Micah Parsons, uh, James is going with. It's going to be tough when you're the only good defensive player on your team, but that guy is unfreaking believable. Jeez. Yeah. Nikki, what do you think? Sack leader of 2022 last year, TJ Watt tied the record. Yeah, I'm going to go TJ Watt again. Yeah? Yep. You know, he's, he might be out for a couple of games. It might not matter to a monster of a man like that, but he might miss the first couple of weeks. All right, so I then I will that. revise. Asterisk, and we should be allowed to revise yes. should, pending yes. injuries for the first few weeks. That would impact yeah. our predictions. Don't tell me I'm not here for you. I'm here for you. I'll let you know this stuff. <laughs> You're my sister. All right. Uh, I'm going to go with, even though I don't think they're going to be great on defense, this guy is a monster. And while I'm not high on Chandler Jones, Max Crosby is, he's foaming from the mouth. He is just an absolute beast of a man. I think that he'll have somewhere in the neighborhood of 17, maybe 18 sacks this year. And maybe that's enough. So, yeah, I'll go with Max Crosby this year. I think uh, it might be his time. How about interceptions? Let me start this one. I told you guys, the Green Bay Packers have a much better defense than people think. They're going to be predicated on defense a lot more this season and the run game. Jair Alexander is a top five cornerback in the NFL. I think he'll have a lot of opportunities. I think that, look, Justin Fields is going to make mistakes. Jared Goff's going to make mistakes. We know Kirk Cousins is you know, you know know prone to make mistakes. That's six games right there. Alexander can get six picks in those games alone. Uh, so I, I like that pick. I think that uh, Alexander in that defense – um, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go with him. What do you think, Ting? I'm not mad at that pick at all. I do think the Packers' defense will be great this year, so he'll be a big part of that. So I definitely can see that happening. I'm going to go with another player that's on a really good defense, Marshawn Lattimore. Yeah, I knew that was good. Night. <laughs> <laughs> Marshawn Lattimore this year will lead the league in picks. I think he's going to have eight this season. Eight is good. Eight is People don't realize eight interceptions is a lot. It really it is. Lot. Yeah, like what Trayvon really, Diggs did last year was historic yeah. because it was yeah. it's not going to happen that often for sure. No. 10 plus interceptions. He's going to get beat more than he's going to be able to pick off these interceptions. So I totally agree with you with that one. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's going to have to learn his lesson. And quarterbacks have learned their lesson on tape so far. It's like, oh, this is what he does. Well, a little pump fake. Bye-bye. See you later. All over. That's that. Nikki, how about you? What do you think? Interceptions this year. Um, JC Jackson. Okay, and just to warn you, he's another guy who may miss a game or two. I'm aware, but okay. I will put an asterisk next to it. All right, all right. Do you have a second one in mind, or we're gonna have to wait till next show? No, you're gonna have to wait till the next show. Well, you are a star, so we will wait for you. No problem. You got it. Sorry, I didn't roll out the fucking red carpet before the show. Well, started. you should because it's my birthday. <laughs> my birthday's on Saturday, so where is my crown and red True. carpet and cupcake and True. all that stuff? She's got good points, you know. She's right about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. It's something should be delivered to her house. Yeah. yeah you know, it'd be great. You know what I would love? I would love to have like center a cake and Dak Prescott pop out of the fucking thing. That would be. They have to show the worst. I, mean, I don't like cake. I don't like. Cake. <laughs> well, yeah, you don't like cake, huh? 
No. Carvel cake. Carvel is good. Well, Carvel ice cream. I'll eat cake. like a coconut cake, like just a plain, like, or like a pound, mm -hmm. like a fresh strawberry shortcake, something like that. Okay. What about, what about a marble cake? You guys ever had marble cake before? I've had, I believe a wedding cake I had before was a marble cake. It was pretty good. It's good. Yeah. It's got like chocolate and, you know, whatever the fuck cake is made out of bread and shit. I don't know. <laughs> What kind of cake do you eat, Brett? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to cook. I suck. My spaghetti comes out. It's freaking hard as a damn oh, rock. My, my, my two co-hosts have to be the pickiest eaters of all time. <laughs> <laughs> that is very fair. Hey, I am your, your pasta is hard. Why? Because I'm a moron and I just want to eat the damn food already. So I take the thing out. I'm like, nope, no good. Let's just crack another freaking tooth in the back of my mouth. That sounds like a lot of fun. So we've already figured out when we get together, I'm cooking. That's what we figured out. Oh, yes. yeah, 100%. You're, <laughs> you're from New Orleans. Yeah. You're, you're definitely from Louisiana. Cooking. You're definitely yeah, What the hell is this? Like, I, mean, I want everything we talked about. I want the gumbo. gumbo. Yeah. <laughs> I want the I mean, come on. I have this food every week. Yeah, no, you're definitely cooking. I mean, well, yeah, he's cooking. And if it's not, is, I don't like icing. I don't, I don't like icing. That turn. No. Just no. I have been too I'm much. older. I do find myself taking the icing, like, if it's too much icing, like taking more icing off. Yeah, I've gotten older, but I still like it, but I just can't handle so much. So I'm getting to that point now. I'm like, oh, uh, icing, I can't do as much as I used to. Yeah, whipped cream is way better than ice cream. Icing, whipped cream freaking yeah. rules, man. Yeah, I agree icing. with you. We all agree but on that. Like That's cream, a third and three. So I, can't, I can't have ice cream, I, I don't, so no ice cream. Cake. Oh. No, I feel terrible. Ice cream is the greatest, man. I love like there's an ice cream shop right down the street, which is horrible for me as far as eating. <laughs> but, but, oh man, once a week I go there. Once a week. Do you? Yeah, I'm, it's horrible. There That's why go. I'm on the Peloton so much because I because I because I, I eat ice cream. <laughs> That's no, I was Baskin Robbins say, what, makes just... this unreal flavor that you can. No, What's I'm sorry, Nick. You got. No, I, I stopped myself because I say, D, what do you just eat it like that in the summertime? But I forget it's like 100 degrees year round. So never yeah, mind. it never gets cold. It never gets cold here. Like it gets decent, <laughs> but it never, it never gets cold. <laughs> We're back. We're yeah. coming back. <laughs> I don't know what the hell happened there. Oh, man. I just went silence. We can right. hear you. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I was a mess before. I couldn't see anything. My thing went all haywire. You know, like my 1980s like t television that only had four channels on. You know, that's it. it just do you have a TV? Why do I feel like you do have a anyway. TV? <laughs> you have one of those TVs with a wood box I do. on it? <laughs> yes. I'm retro, man. I go way back. I'm old school. You got to turn the dial to change the channel. Yeah, yes, again. I'm dial in the God. I'm the worst. I'm so old school. Gosh. Help us. Oh, man. I try I'm to stay you young. Thank God for you. For God's sakes. I, right? All by myself, like a big boy I am? Wow. Amazing. <laughs> I did. I, I'm trying. Look, I even got these backgrounds, too. Who the hell knew I could do something like that? I had no idea. Just nice. I got a different damn background every freaking week, all of a sudden. I'm like a pro, baby. <laughs> Logo maker, Jason Fearman at Sports Profit, at your freaking service. All right. Last category. Let's do it. Tackles. Who is going to lead the league in tackles? I'll tell you guys after you tell me. Damien, who's going to lead the league this year in tackles? I'm going with Darius Leonard. You're Coast. the man. Yeah, the Coast defense is going to be really good because of him. He's a monster. Tackles. And he probably leads the league in force fumbles as well. I love it. I love it. Yeah, this guy's like, oh, well, oh, defense city. I just gave mine away, Nikki, obviously, because I got so excited. He is mine also. Darius Shaquille Leonard in the house, baby. Stay healthy. And he is top five defensive player in the league, no doubt. I assume you disagree. So who do you got? Von Miller. Okay. Okay. I didn't see that one coming, but that's not a bad pick at all. Buffalo's defense adding on to what they have already. Very nice. All right. I like it. I like it. Well done. Golf clap. Golf clap. Golf clap. <laughs> so that is league leaders. So we got through that with, um, you know, a little bit of haste, but that does happen at times. The next category, a little bit easier. The NFL 2022 awards. There aren't a whole lot of them, but we got our MVPs, offensive, defensive player of the year, rookie coach of the year, comeback player of the year, quantum leap player of the year, quarterback, I should say, quantum leap quarterback, and quantum leap team. 
Did I miss anything, guys? Nah, I feel like you got it all. <laughs> all right. Okay. That's good. Well, yeah, once in a while, that actually happens. All right. Well, uh, why don't we start with the big one first? Why don't we go with the MVP? All right. The MVP of the league is, I mean, there are so many candidates this year. I will say off the top of my head, I don't think that any of us have Aaron Rodgers because Adams is not there, so he's not going to put up the stats. Doesn't mean that Aaron Rodgers won't be great. So I took him off my list, but I can't wait to hear what you guys got. Nikki, would you like to go first? Sure. Tom Brady. That's a good one. That's a good one. Does his offensive line scare you a little bit, Ryan Jensen being out? No more Ali Marpet, no more um, uh, Alex Kappa. Does that frighten you a little bit, or is he just going to get the ball out in two seconds? No, of course it does. I just feel like if anyone can just like overcome adversity or figure it out or find a way, he is the guy to do it. I mean, I don't think this man, there's nothing he hasn't seen been thrown at him. Like I just have complete confidence, you know, in him and to, to figure it out. But of course it's concerning, but Hey, no more concerning than the giants offensive line. So yeah, if right. that's the scale, I'm not that concerned. <laughs> Gosh. Well, you know, I thought about Tom Brady also for mine, and um, it, it's not his ability, Nikki. It's not him I question. It's the offensive line. That's what I do worry about. And will they have a running game to kind of, like, back him up a little bit in play action? But other than that, I have no problem with your pick. Well done. What about you, D? I'm going Chuck. I'm going with the favorite, Josh Allen. I think he's going to have a monster year this year for the Bills, and they're going to live up to expectations. I'm going with over 5,000 yards. It's barely over. 5,023 yards passing, Ooh. 700 yards rushing. I'm going to go 33 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, and 65% completion rate for Josh Allen this year. Nice. Sounds pretty damn good. How many picks did you say? 11. 11. Not bad. Yeah, he had, I think, 14, 13 or 14, something like that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he takes a lot of shots. And Gabriel Davis seems to have stepped up. Um, all right, nice pick right there. I'm going to go with the guy who I think is the most valuable player to any team. And you've heard me talk about him, you know, for like probably the last month. Lamar Jackson. I just think that he is so valuable. And if he stays healthy, he will be the MVP. He will, will run for another 1,000 yards or at least close to it. Throw for about 3,300 yards. I know, I know, I know he does not have the best wide receivers. But, again, we're talking most valuable player. And if they're going to win the division, we'll reveal it later. I'm not sure because i got another team in mind. But he would be the reason why. That and that defense. And, yes, they're a great organization, great coaching staff. But he's won it before. I don't see why he can't do it again, guys. So he's my MVP. I'm going to go with Lamar Jackson. But will he be in Baltimore or will he be in Miami? <laughs> if he goes to Miami, then he's definitely going to win it. <laughs> You know how it is when you like a tweet. That's like you're endorsing it. So I know that was kind of weird. That was weird. I like, think it's yeah. a negotiation tactic. He's like, give me my 231 million guarantee. <laughs> that's that's yeah. what that is. You yeah, should yeah. pay him though. I mean, why wouldn't you pay? What is that team without Lamar Jackson? I agree. I the the only hold up, the Deshaun Watson contract really screwed up everything for quarterbacks as far as mm -hmm. what the team wants to do. Yeah. And I think. Because the owners being mad has nothing to do with Deshaun Watson and his whole situation legally and what he did or didn't do. It has to do with that contract and it being an NBA baseball style contract that he got. That's why owners were mad about it. And now you've right. seen the results of that. This this deal would have been done. If there's no Deshaun Watson deal, I believe this deal would have been done already. That's very – yeah, it's a great call. I mean, Watson and Kirk single-handedly or their agents, they fucked up the entire league. They really didn't. I mean, they just made <laughs> so much damn money every – well, not the league. The players are very happy. I'll say that. But um, all right. So we all got different MVPs. I love it. Let's see what happens at the end of the year. Can't wait. Can't wait. Oh, my God. Football starting in a week, guys. I can't believe it. And we're calling the game. And listen, for you guys who are going to be, you know, listening with us and listening to our broadcast and not the other stupid ass ones that they put on, um, make sure that you try to link up with us because I know timing is different. We all have different cable or smart this and that and the other thing. So try to link up at the same time so we could be on the same page and all that. At halftime, I don't know what the hell's going to happen. I'm probably going to eat or something, but uh, we'll get there. All right. Hey, Next Jay's going to get the antennas going on. Yeah. <laughs> the rabbit ears so coming out. Give them a little you bit of say, time. You got to put the aluminum foil on the end to get the, yeah. the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, put the foil on the yeah. end. Exactly. Oh, that's great. You guys didn't have to wait. Oh, yeah. man, I'm going to be the way We got smart TVs. They're just like, boop, put the app on. There you go. That's nope. it. Bam. <laughs> nope. Instead, me? No, I'll be like a, an entire quarter behind. The game will end, you know, for you guys. Mm -hmm. And the fourth quarter will just begin for me. So we can't have that. We got to fix that. We got to fix that. All right. Offensive player of the year. I think Courtney was the one who alluded to it earlier, guys. I'm going to go first on this one, if you don't mind. Austin Eckler could have been it last year. He had 20 total touchdowns on the ground. Is that a record? No. LT has that, and that's Ladanian Tomlinson with 31 touchdowns back in, ooh, I'd like to say 2007, 06, 06? I think it was 06. Yeah, somewhere around. Okay. So, I mean, I don't – the record could be broken, but um, I'm not saying necessarily by Austin Eckler, but between the receiving and rushing yards and the amount of touchdowns and that offense – I don't see why Eckler can't put up unbelievable stats, Damian. Yeah, I'm not mad at that pick at all. That's a really good pick. I kind of gave away my pick earlier, Justin Jefferson. I think he's going to have a monster year this year, 1,800 receiving yards. I'm going to go 13 receiving touchdowns and 125 catches for offensive player of the year. You love him this year, and there's no reason not to, Nikki. I mean, no. Justin Jefferson, since he got here, he's been – really like a top five receiver in the league, like the second that he stepped on the field. It's, it's amazing. So, um, yeah, based on everything you said before, it's no surprise you went there, and uh, I'm not going to argue with it either. But, Nikki, did you agree with either one of us, or you got somebody else in mind? I have your boy, Devontae Adams. Oh, okay. I don't know how he became my boy all of a sudden, but uh, <laughs> Devontae. Didn't, I, I, <laughs> didn't he just say, oh, he's going to lead the league in receptions, touchdown? What does that, that mean? He's my boy? About? Does that yeah. mean he's my boy? He played yeah. for the Packers. That's you know what I do hate the uh, Yeah, I go all in on somebody. All of a sudden, it's all oh, it's Nikki's boy Jamar Chase. It's Burns, <laughs> Stafford. It's, it's whoever I said. It's her boy Saquon. That's it. I mean, it's a one thing, and that's I'm tied for life to it. So now that's you hard. are too. Yep. Okay. All right. I guess I'm stuck. I'm sorry that the best wide receiver in the league is going to leave the league in receiving yards, but okay, <laughs> or touchdowns, whatever the hell I pick. But <laughs> sorry, my bad. You're all Stupid in on pick. it. Like you know, I, sh I should have gone with Kadarius Tony. I should have gone with Kadarius no, Tony, right? You should, no, you shouldn't have. When would I go with Kadarius Tony? Stop. You make me look like I am some like giant homer. I am not. You just <laughs> love the younger brother on this show. That's what's going on. You love your younger brother, and you're going with him, and you're Homer Simpson. You're like, you know, I don't know if you're Marge I, or you're no. I am not Homer Simpson. We all know who the Homer Simpson <laughs> is on this show. He's decked fair. out head to toe Saints. Probably got in the freaking Super Bowl. Like, I mean, you know. So sending me videos of Jameis Winston on Instagram with some guy like this. He's the greatest athlete I've ever seen. Like right. that, was a, that was a funny video. Like the, the, the commentary was hilarious on the video. Like the, it was some Jameis Winston, like it was one drive he didn't get Tampa Bay where he was like balling out. And the commentary is like, oh my God, it's the goat. Yeah. <laughs> it, was it, it did sound like you though. I imagine that's what you're like, like watching him by yourself. <laughs> Oh, that is awesome. I love it. I love the band. They're on the show. It makes me so happy. All right. So we got our we got our offensive player of the year. How about defensive player of the year, D? I'm gonna go with Joey Bosa. I think because he's gonna lead the lead in sacks this year. I can see him also having like 75 tackles, five forced fumbles, and Chargers defense is gonna be really, really good. I think that's a part of it. Your defense being good is also leading to you being defense player of the year. So I'm gonna go with Joey Bosa. No question. Um, I, I get a little skeptical because of the injuries. He's not always the healthiest guy. Khalil Mack, you know, getting a little bit more up there. Derwin James, no J.C. Jackson. But um, his ability is phenomenal. So I totally understand why you picked him. Makes a lot of sense. So that is your defensive player of the year. Uh, how about you, Nikki? What do you got? Who the hell? Oh, Aaron Donald. Oh, Aaron Donald. Okay. So, I mean, that's not like obvious or anything. All right. Aaron Donald. That makes sense. Okay. Well, I mean, why wouldn't I pick somebody who's your really boy, funny? Aaron Donald? I'm sorry. Yeah, that's, right. <laughs> that's right. I am the Rams homer on this show. I'm all in on the Rams. So, I'm just, you know, backing it up, putting my money where my mouth is. I'm like, you, you, you want to switch between Miami and then Detroit is going to the playoffs. The craziest shit I ever heard in my life. I'm just a football <laughs> fan who knows what the hell he's talking about. Don't forget, I'm the only schmuck on the planet who had freaking Green Bay and Tennessee, like number one freaking seeds in the NFC, in the AFC and the NFC last year. We'll see if I can pull that crap off this year. I can't wait for you guys to hear my Super Bowl pick. You're going to be like, all right, oh. show's over. Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, why don't you just tell us now? And we'll, we'll no, 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 no. 
leave you in suspense. That's my about favorite to, thing. We got to do our about to, we got to do our seeds first before we do Super Bowl picks. We got to do our exactly. seeds. Exactly. We got time, Nikki. Stay patient over here. I know that you have other things to do and you're so <laughs> freaking important. All right. And you got phone calls to make and people to talk to, but we're doing a damn show right now. So hang in I'm there for I'm with me. you. I'm with you on the show. You're giving me a hard time over my the, pick. The day I know Nikki's change is when she's going to like call us up and be like, my people are going to talk to your people. Like that's the yeah. <laughs> And me and D are going to be like, we ain't got no damn people. Who are you going to yeah, like, you, like, what you mean? Me? You mean they're going to yeah, talk right. to me? Yes. <laughs> no, no. When it, just so, when it comes to you guys, I will handle that business personally. Don't. No, 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 no. No, no. I hope you do. Don't leave it in somebody else's hands, for God's sake. Uh, please no. Mm -mm. Oh, man. I am well, here. I'll... We're doing the show. I'm making my picks. You Good have day. an issue with every pick, so it's fine. I have to. I have to, because I'm jealous yeah. of you. You have gone to ultimate stardom. You are a I galaxy. I have not gone to old. Would you just stop? <laughs> I have not gone to <laughs> a couple podcasts. Like, I, it's not ultimate stardom. Everybody wants tricky naked gifts, and I freaking oh, named you. And I want you know what? I should patent that shit right now. <laughs> Any, like don't royalty. even try it. Don't nobody even freaking try it. It's mine. I made it up. That's it. End of story. All right. He's gonna be getting royalties. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'll be getting royalties from Nikki's royalty billions checks. of dollars that she makes. She'll be like Mariah Carey at Christmas time. You know, she's like rolling in the checks. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Residuals are a beautiful thing. Amazing. I feel like your girl. <laughs> you love That's, Mariah. I know. Mariah's awesome. Who doesn't yeah. love Mariah? I love Mariah. <laughs> She's great. I mean, I, I'll stop. Anyway, my defensive player of the year, I alluded to before also, who I think is going to lead the league in tackles, Darius Leonard. That guy is the freaking man. I, you know, Indy's got a very stout defense, and you know they're going to be predicated on the running game a lot more. So, um, yeah, I think that Leonard is – Again, going to make a lot of plays. D talked about him forcing fumbles all over the damn place. So I love Darius Leonard. So I'm going to go with him. If he stays healthy, I think that he wins this damn thing. But then again, we shall see. We shall see. I love the disagreement. It makes such more fun. So many more betting going on through you. You guys are going to be broke when all this shit is done. If you bet with me, it's all over, especially in fantasy. Forget it. Finished. Wait, All right, D, what about coaching? It's going to come back what? And you in the ass tomorrow during our draft. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to be from parts unknown in that draft tomorrow with a lot of alcohol just in case I don't get the oh, picks yeah. right. Oh, that's right. We have to take shots if we screw up. I feel yep. like I'm definitely going to screw up this year. I, I for sure am. It's pretty seamless last year, so that means this year is not going to be easy. Can I tell you something actually pathetic? The same bottle last year that I that I played with, it was a Smirnoff, and I didn't fuck up, thank God. I still have the same thing, so I will bring it out again. So it was obviously good luck. I will bring it out again. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's awesome. so, I, I do not never have any alcohol I had from three months ago. <laughs> <laughs> the alcohol and ice cream young. is gone. Yes, it's alcohol, really ice cream. I, again, all these things lead to me having to get on the Peloton or having to do boxing classes. Yeah. So. <laughs> yes. Well, that's good. Keep in shape, my friend. Please do. So Please you do. asked about coach of the year, right? Yes. Coach of the year. I got to go with your guy, Jay. Who? Brandon Staley. Ooh. I go with Brandon Staley. Oh, that's not my guy. I threw the Kyle Shanahan. Oh, no. Who's your guy? Oh. That's not my guy. Oh. That's, that's my guy. nemesis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with Brandon Staley. I think the Chargers are going to improve. We know this Ooh. is a narrative award. So whenever – it's not going to go by best coach. It goes by a team who improved the most or – team who was able to go and get through the most adversity. You know, this is a narrative award. And I think the narrative is going to point to Brandon Staley this year. That makes sense. That makes sense. Because if he could just smarten up a little bit and take some advice from people who actually know what the hell they're talking about in football, then yes, the team can go very far and we'll see where we have them. If we even have them making the playoffs, but we've heard a lot of Justin Herbert, a lot of Austin Eckler, not Keenan Allen and Mike Williams yet, but they are integral parts of that team. No question about it. So, Coach of the Year, what do you got, Nick? Brian Dable, because as we have said for a couple of weeks, this is a story. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. I've been sick. I <laughs> can take a homer pick. Did I pick any other homer pick? No. <laughs> if you did, then you'd be thrown off, and they just, wouldn't allow you on that show. Just anymore. for the record, me and you are tied at homer picks right now. 
one okay. and one. Uh, one, and one. Right. one and one. Jay wants to sit here like I handed out friggin' these awards like candy to the entire <laughs> Giants roster and coaching staff. I said he would win coach of the year, Brian Dable. Yep. Okay. Okay. So then how, how, why would that be so off and so wrong? Especially if they win eight or nine games, that's a complete turnaround. I'm really looking forward to these playoff picks. If you got Brian Dable. When it yeah. Comes to the year. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I mean, coach of the year doesn't, <laughs> usually doesn't go under 500 there, darling. So I don't know about that one. We'll see. So I can't wait to see what you got for uh, the Giants record. That should be interesting. All right. Uh, my coach of the year. I did uh, talk about it last week. Um, I'm pretty high on the Eagles this year. They got a lot of things going on. I am going with Nick Sirianni for the Eagles. Um, again, like you said, D, it's more about team improvement, not necessarily coaching improvement, even though I do like him as a coach. Um, but, yeah, I think Sirianni and the Eagles are going to do pretty good this year. Uh, big step up from 9-8. and eight. We'll see how many games. We'll see how far they go in the playoffs. But um, that's my guy right there. And if we can read some of our others, uh, let's see, Mikey Patton joining in. Staley going to – Going to coach to coach of the year. I think it might have been a typo, but he's saying he's going to be coach of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like it. And then lose it for himself at the end. Sound mm -hmm. familiar? Yeah, that's exactly what he did last year, screwing the whole thing up. As far as Dable goes, wins with Daniel Jones, then he gets coach of the year. So Danny Doms is throwing pennies right now. Throwing So look who's throwing shots over here. Mike just comes <laughs> out immediately, just freaking blast. All throw shots. You're not the one that is at camp all the time watching the improvement of Daniel Jones. I am not right. a Daniel Jones fan, right. but I do yeah. see him improving. Right. Every okay. Time. I'm Are you there, Jen? Old. Are you there? Do you see it? You have no <laughs> Let me tell you idea. something. Let me tell you something, my intellectual idea. blonde friend. If I was in shorts and pads, I can throw the ball 55 yards on a Danny fucking dime, too. I can do it all. <laughs> Okay. Can you? All right, let's go out there and see. That'll be the bet. You have to do a complete workout for us. Let's just see. done. Yeah. No, okay. hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Complete. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back up, back up, back up. Yeah. Back okay. Up. Back up. No problem. No complete bet. No, no. I will throw the ball fifty-five yards, and that okay. will be what I have to do. All right. Put no your problem. Mouth is. Let's see it. Money's right there, so and Mike is smart because he agrees. Just to certify and make sure this is official, the bet is on most receiving yards, right? That's so right. Whoever has the most receiving right. yards between who was your pick? Jason, I had for most receiving. Uh, I don't want to forget. Make a, I had make Jamar Chase. You had Jamar Chase, and I had receiving yards. I think I had oh, Devontae. I'm sorry, it was receiving touchdowns. Receiving touchdowns. Yeah, no, yeah, it was touchdowns. Right. You I had, had Cooper Evans, Cup. and you had Cooper Cup. All right. Yeah, that's why I made the pick because right, Mike. So Evans. whoever has the most yards, Cooper Cup or Mike Evans, that bet person wins the bet. The other person has to either do a spike or throw the ball 50 yards. That's what we're yes. doing. Yeah. See, it's a football-related <laughs> thing. At least it's a football-related thing. We're keeping it in the family of the NFL. So officially, yes, I have Cooper Cup scoring more touchdowns than Mike Evans. So we'll see at the end of the year who's spiking what and who's throwing what where. I can't I wait. That would really be like me commenting on like Trey Lance. Like I don't know. I don't follow the team <laughs> like you do. Like I mean, yeah, True. does Daniel Jones look better than where he was last year and the year before? Yeah, hundred percent. Is he Tom Brady? No. No, he's definitely not. I'm glad that you admit that. I know you're smart enough. You're no fool. Why would I ever think that Daniel Jones is anything close to Tom Brady? That's the quarterback that we have to roll with right now. So, and yes, he does look better. It's a good thing there's a really good quarterback you have next year, but we'll get to that another time. Anyway, <laughs> where the hell are we right now? We did, uh, oh, how about rookie of the year? Rookie of the year. This one could be interesting. There's a lot of different ways to go with this one, Damian. This one was tough for me, man. What'd you come up with? Uh, as much as I hate to give any type of Atlanta Falcon any type of credit, I'm going to go with Drake London for, like the for rookie, rookie of the year. I think he's going to get like 75 catches. I can see over 1,000 yards, maybe seven touchdowns. I don't think there's going to be any type of Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson type of numbers for a rookie this year. So I think Drake London will have the best stats for a rookie receiver this year. Not bad. I know we got himself a little bit hurt, but he should be fine to go week one from what I understand at worst week two. And he did look very good in, in short time. But, yeah, he's big. He's fast. He's strong. Not a bad pick at all. What do you got, Nikki? Yeah, I have Chris Olave as well. Ooh, not as well, but making D happy with Chris Olave right there. Oh, Mike, yeah. has, Mike. Mike, you know, Mike has Chris Olave. Oh, Mike has Chris Olave. Okay, I can't see everything at one time. I need more than two eyes. This isn't working well, out. Of course, I hope you and Mike are right, hopefully. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, unfortunately, you won't beat because uh, Seattle is going to be a little bit better than what people think, and Kenneth Walker is going to be that guy because mm. I don't think they really believe in Rashad Penny. So I'm going to go with the uh, running back, Kenneth Walker the third. Ken- Kenneth Sire. Walker. So, okay. Uh, <laughs> Do I smell uh, another bet? Do I smell yeah, another bet? I, <laughs> I actually can't. Seattle, okay. Yes. Working of the year from uh, Geno Smith as quarterback. That team is in a complete rebuild. And you want to come at me for <laughs> my picks. You have got yeah. to freaking be kidding me. Nope, I'm not kidding all. This is 100% realism. This is the real deal Holyfield, like like my man would like to say at the bottom over there in Saints. Seattle. Oh, my God. D, we went from Miami. <laughs> Boy, I didn't even, Seattle, get, I didn't even mention Miami yet. The rookie of the year. I, I mean, please. Like, I didn't even take an edible, but I feel like I took an edible. <laughs> That's well, you mean I know your football, but you, you can't be. You must be hearing. I don't know my football. Are you serious <laughs> right now? I don't know my football. Don't I know you do because you know I the have. comments I get where people say, "Oh, Nikki, women shouldn't talk about football." I know my <laughs> shit. Oh no, I would never say. You're on the show for a reason. You're on the mm-hmm. show for a reason. It's not just because you're a smart businesswoman in the world, and you know, and all that. It's because you know what the hell you're talking about. You're not here for anything else. That's yeah, the I'm not taking uh, Seattle to produce for the Rookie of the Year. That's yeah. Okay, well, look, when the sports prophet speaks, you need to listen. All right, I'm like E.F. freaking Hutton. Let's get this shit going over here. All right, come on. All right, comeback player of the year, smart ass. Who do you got? <laughs> Am I allowed? Or, I mean, just call me a homer now because you know I'm going to say Saquon. So, <laughs> unreal. She got you D2 to one now. Yeah. Well, it's going to be two to two because I'm going with Kent, <laughs> Shark, Mike, Michael Thomas, comeback Thank player you. of the year. Let's Thank go. You. <laughs> Thank you're sickening. You. You're sickening to me. This is awful. This is Homer City. I don't like this. Homeland. Both of these are part. very. Very, very realistic candidates for comeback play of the year. Oh, my God. Saquon Barkley hasn't rushed for over 100 yards in 17 freaking years. Michael Thomas hasn't played in two years. Stop it. The answer is Russell Wilson. That's the answer. It's Russell Wilson. They always go to the quarterback. (laughs) Going to Denver. They're going to win. Let's go. Come on. Brent, uh, talk about homers over here. I mean, for God's (laughs) sake, are you kidding me? Comeback player of the year. He missed like four games last year, but okay, he's my MVP. He missed like six. He missed like six. He missed like, yeah, he missed like five or six last year. I think him missed that many. I forgot they played 27 games in the NFL now. I totally forgot. (laughs) I'll say Jameis is a good pick as well. Yeah, Mike's going with Jameis. He likes Jameis. Again, I've just never been that high on him. He missed six games, Brent said. He knows what he's talking about. All right. That, that, I, I think that would qualify. Derrick Henry would qualify too. He's another guy that we didn't talk about. He would. He would. If yep. he falls out, he definitely would. He would qualify for sure. But uh, I went Russell Wilson because of the thumb and the whole shabacle of what happened last year. How about? Oh, this is the, this is Damien's favorite. Oh, the quantum <laughs> Lee 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 <laughs> Lee quarterback of the year is going to be. Let's get Homer City going. Come on. Come on, Simpson. <laughs> Come on, Simpson. Let's go. Now, nah, quantum leap. Uh, my NFC one was Jameis, but overall, I'm going with Trevor Lawrence to take a quantum <laughs> leap. 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 Yes, Trevor Lawrence okay. will make the biggest jump this year for quarterbacks. I can handle it, and I like it. That's not a bad pick. You guys know exactly where I'm going, Nikki, so I'll just make it really fast. It's Tua. End of story. I don't even need to back it up. Just watch what happens. Tua, comeback player of the year. And just look, he's got all these weapons. He's going to make it happen. Tua is my answer. Comeback player of the year if you don't have the arm strength to throw a comeback route. Oh, uh, he, oh, oh. he will not be comeback player. He will not be the quantum oh. leap guy because he can't oh. throw a comeback route. Wait, you <laughs> have Tua as the comeback player of the year and the quantum leap player? Yes, I oh, he has not quantum leap. I just had to say it for the oh. joke. But yeah, but yeah, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I'm oh, with God. you. I have Trevor Lawrence as well, so I'm with you. So there. does Mike. 25 touchdowns, 10 to 13 picks. That might do it. That might do it. I didn't see what his quality, what, what he had last year. But all right, so Trevor Lawrence is definitely a popular pick, and we've all spoke about the Jags being a better team. We'll see where we have them ranked, and if any of us are stupid enough to put them in the playoffs, I don't know. 
Uh, we'll see. Anyway, so that is the quantum leap. I got Tua. I'm all over Tua. Nikki, who would you say you got? Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence. You got Trevor Lawrence, too. Okay, so everybody's got yeah. Trevor Lawrence except for me, so that just goes to show you how you know foolish you all are. Um, the prophet. <laughs> for you. For me. You silly little goose that you are. Okay. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> I bet you take the last one. If you like to, Nikki, because always we present the option here to you, the quantum leap team in the NFL. I can't wait to hear this one. I can't it wait. Is, wait. I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep the theme. So we're gonna go with Jacksonville. I think that they are going to surprise people. I think the roster is going to surprise people. Trevor Lawrence will take that quantum leap. I really feel strongly Doug Peterson is the right coach for him. I even think he's going to coach up Evan Ingram, even though Evan Ingram is dead to me after he dropped the division. You know, for he's been dead to you for three years. Yeah, no, but it's you know, I think that uh they're on the they're trending on the way up. They have a lot of young talent on that team. So I will quantum leap Jacksonville. I think that's a very, very good pick right there. I like that. And I also love what Dave is saying right now. He's going with Tua, as I am, and he is also making the Quantum Leap team, which is not a surprise to you, and I know that you foolish freaks over here disagree, but it is the Detroit Lions or the Detroit Lions, however you freaking pronounce it, wherever the hell you damn come from. It's the damn Lions. That's the comeback Quantum Leap team of the year. I can't wait for you guys to watch it. I can't wait for you to see it. That's my team. That's my team. I think they take a big jump this I do year. think the Lions will be better, but I think the team that takes the biggest leap is Jacksonville, where they went three games last year. So yeah. I think they go from three yeah. to eight or nine this season. So I will go with Jacksonville. That would be more of a quantum leap, so I'm okay with that. That that does make sense. That does make sense. All right. All uh, in on, on Jared Goff leading the, the quantum leapness of the Lions. Uh, just saying, I love, man. I love the quantum leapness. <laughs> <laughs> Mike saying I've been drinking my ass off over here. Apparently, going with the Lions. <laughs> Look, the Lions had what three or four wins last year, also. So if they go eight and nine, yeah. that's the same damn thing. They were three thirteen and one, if I remember correctly, because they had that yeah. that that tie to Pittsburgh, right? Yeah, yeah. Pittsburgh is always good for one tie a season. I know it's unbelievable. <laughs> Dave saying nine and eight. That that's a freaking quantum leap. All right. So shut up, everybody. Leave me alone. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you and David are right. I hope so. I, and I hope you guys are right too. I want to see Jacksonville State t- take a step up. I do. I hope we'll one of us are all right. be right. That would be great. Give us high. That's what we should do. I mean, we have to give new awards on the show anyway, because they're getting stale with what they're doing in the NFL. Listen to third and three NFL. We're trying to help. And obviously we are helping because you come up with our shit every other freaking week. So it is that other four letter damn network, but I'm not going to talk about that now. Anyway, yeah, real quick, last year, the standings, I'm not going to go over every team, just the uh, division winners was the Bills, the Chiefs, the Bengals, as we know, um, who ended up going to the Super Bowl, the Titans, and in the NFC, if I can find it, I'm sorry, give me a second. I know we had the Packers, we had the Bucks, we had – the Rams, and who am I missing? Uh, Dallas. Dallas. So the, last year, those were the league leaders, um, the division leaders, I should say. So they all went to the playoffs. Will they win that many games this year? We're about to find out because we are about to get into it this very second. It is time for the standings for this year from the AFC East all the way to the NFC West. And I can't wait to do it. And then we're going to get into our Super Bowl playoff scenarios, all that good stuff, MVPs, I mean, everything. There's going to be predictions all over this damn show. So here we go. Rock and roll. It's time. Mikey's saying that, um, what, eight to nine wins for Jacksonville? Eight wins? Oh, and Dave's saying six wins. Interesting. Wow. All right. All right. Both in the back. All right. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Uh, Nikki, you always had the option, my friend. What would you like to do? Would you like to go first or you want to pass it off to you and your brother? Um, I will pass. Okay, she passes. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. All right, D, <laughs> AFC East, here we go. Let's do it. Oh, Buffalo. Buffalo, oh, okay. 100%. What do you got for their record? Did you give them a record? I got 14 and three. Nice. That's a big time record right there. Okay, I went 13 and four, and I think they're going to be phenomenal this year. What about you, Nick? Yeah, Buffalo. Buffalo. So we'll agree, Buffalo. What'd you give yeah, them for wins? Uh, like 13, 13, I think is. 13. 13. Thirteen makes sense. I think thirteen. That that's a huge freaking number. Thirteen wins, only losing four. 
Dave's saying the same thing, 13 and 4. So we're over here in Buffalo. No craziness over there. Division winner, AFC North. This one I feel could get tricky. So, D, how about we start with you, bro? What do you what do you think? We're going Baltimore, 12 and 5 to win the AFC North. Oh, that's a big record, 12 and 5. That's a huge step up. That's quantum lead team right there. That's pretty good for me. Yeah, nine pretty last pretty year. Good step. That's a big step. Okay. All right. I dig it. Hey, I got Lamar for the MVP, so I'm, I'm loving that right there. Um, Nikki, are you going to make your husband happy, cry, kick him out of the house? What are you going to do right now? <laughs> well, I don't know. October 16th, Giants play the Ravens, so I don't know what's going to happen after that day. <laughs> uh, you know, but yeah, no, I will go with the Ravens. I think, you know, a full, healthy Ravens team, Lamar Jackson, I think 12 wins is definitely possible. Well, so far, we all agree, and by all, I mean all four of us, because uh, David Dale getting in there prime time is saying uh, the same exact thing, the Ravens. I got them at 11 and 6 this year as well, so I'm going to take them to win that division. How about the AFC South? Um, Nikki, let me just start this off, because I know that this is your world over here, so let me just say the Colts win the AFC South, and I'm going to stop there, and you can have the floor and tell me exactly why they're the best team that God ever created. <laughs> And Matt Ryan should be freaking memorialized next to the gosh darn Mount Rushmore in South Dakota. Go ahead, tell me. Listen, we have made it because somebody memed us. So that's all you need. So all this Matt Ryan, you know, <laughs> talk, like, it's putting us on the map. All right. Now, obviously, I do think the Colts are going to win. I'm going to give them like 12, 12 wins. 12 wins. Yeah. And well, okay. So they have a great offensive line. They have Jonathan Taylor. Um, yeah. You know, they have Matt Ryan, who, despite, you know, <laughs> what you think, is Fantasy. a great fantasy quarterback, is a great NFL quarterback, very consistent, has one of the best arms. So, you know, they will, they'll, they'll win. I do want to make this clear, though, Nikki. Matt Ryan is the best quarterback they've had since Andrew Luck. I will say that. He's the best quarterback that – he's better than Phillip Rivers. He was better than Matt uh, Matt Carson. Listen, I mean, Carson Wentz, whatever the hell his freaking name is. Who knows what team he's going to be on this year anyway. But, um, no, so uh, I'm with you there. So it's the Colts. Mike's saying the Colts got one wide receiver we know. All right, well, they still did pretty good with them last year. Um, yeah. Trey is saying – Trey Frazier's with this saying the Titans are going to win the South if Malik Willis takes over midseason. Yeah. That's a hot take right there. All right. Yeah, uh, yeah. that's a hot take. So Mike's got actually the Titans at 10 and 7, Colts at 11 and 6, Dave's got them at 11 and 6. Damien, what do you got? Yeah, I got Colts 11 and 6 when in the AFC South. Wow, talk about a trifecta. That's more than a trifecta. Like, God, like a God, God. <laughs> That's right. Oh, that was well done. You say I can't remember that shit. I'm too old. I need to rely on my younger brother to do that stuff. I love it. So, Jay, Fantastic. are you mad that everybody, including the listeners, picked the Colts since it's your team? And you no. got mad because I was picking them and stuff. No, I'm mad because you have 17 different teams and there's only 32 in I the NFL. Know. That's the problem. My, that's my, I, I love my, it. I love the I have my first and always number one love, right? And then well, I got, man. like, two backup teams. Two? Like I okay, was saying. Okay, Cincinnati, the Rams – who else? There's more. D, help me out. Who am I missing? I'm all. When it comes to the NFL, she's not faithful. Yeah. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> yes, she, <laughs> she has I'll her say. Giants. That's the that's the husband. Yeah. But she has tie boots. Right. Like the Bengals and the Rams. And the Colts could be some guy who she just dated to get free lunch. Is it? Yeah. And the Rams, <laughs> somebody she's actually married to to make sure that she could stay married. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's the Matt Ryan thing. Now I feel like since I've talked about it so much and we've been memed, I mean, we have to go all in. <laughs> You do have to. Dave is going Giants and Lions also. He's saying that they're going to take big steps up this year, but he's obligated because he's from Detroit. So I guess he's kind of got to say that. All right, here's the big division, guys, the AFC West, where I, I swear to God, if any of you guys say any team, I will not be shocked one bit. So here we go. Let's see who's going to win the AFC West this year. PredictionCity.com USA. Let's go third and three. AFC West. Nikki, what do you got? Chargers. Boom, boom. Go, Chargers, go. What record do you think they're going to get? I'm give them um, 12. 12 wins, 12, 13, 12. somewhere in there. Yeah. I agree. I'm going 12 and 5 also. Um, I debated going a little bit lower because of the division, but I just feel like, again, they had, they're just so strong offensively and defensively. I had to go with the Chargers. <clears throat> Excuse me. Way too much talent out there. David saying uh, Raiders, um, Mike saying Chiefs. So we got a lot of different opinions out here. But uh, D, why don't you take the final opinion? 
I'm going Chargers. So we got try, try, try. We got a try, try, try. try. <laughs> we have a trifecta on that. Uh -oh. I had to go Chargers. I got Justin Herbert leading the league in passing yards. I got Joey Bosa as defensive player of the year. I had to go with the Chargers. I'm going 13 That's and four for the Chargers this year. 13 and four. Wow. In that division, too. That's big time. Yeah. That's big time. Even though I went 12 and five, it's not that big of a difference. Same thing mm -hmm. with Nick. All right. So let me get this straight. We have the same exact division winners in the AFC. Is that what's going on right now? We do. Yeah. Correct. Super, uh, super trifecta. Yeah. I feel it. Yeah. That you're right there. I, <laughs> I don't know. I got to come up with that one. But <laughs> I got a feeling our wild cards are going to be different. That's where some of the bets are going to come in. In the right. And that's where we're getting to right now. Exactly. So well done as you are. You are one of the greatest, Damien, leading me right into things that I wouldn't think of myself exactly at the moment. So why don't we do that? We have three wild card teams that are going to make it. And believe it or not, three of them could come from the AFC West. Let's see if any of us had the kahanias to do that. So why don't we go with playoff teams now? Nikki, again, you have the option, my dear. Would you like to start? Sure. So okay. all right, we have four. So you just want my three wild card teams? No, pick four if you want to. Go ahead. Yeah, you three wild card teams. What the hell's the matter with you? I already did the four. I'm saying you want you just want the three, right? Okay, so uh Chiefs, Raiders, and Bengals. Chiefs, Raiders, and Bengals. All right, so two more from the from the AFC, and you're going back with the Bengals, who are, in your opinion, not gonna have a Super Bowl slump this year. No. Did you debate any other team? Or were you pretty solid on who you got? I think I'm pretty solid. Okay. So again, we have the Raiders, we got the Chiefs, and we got the last one. I'm sorry, Nick. The Bengals. The Bengals, right. I'm sorry. Of course, obviously. What am I thinking? What's the matter with me? Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, not bad. Can't argue. Those are really good picks right there. Raiders, Chiefs, Bengals. Okay. Okay. They were all in the playoffs last year. Let's see if they could do it again. The NFL says that they're not going to, but let's find out. D, what do you got? Uh, I am agreeing with Nikki. I'm just going different order. Bengals, really? Chiefs, Raiders. I got Bengals at 12 and 5. I think that the wow. Ravens beat them by a tiebreaker for the division. Chiefs at 10 and 7. Raiders at 9 and 8. Very interesting. Okay. Okay. I take it. Let me hear from uh, the audience a little bit over here. Um, Char uh, uh, with Mike Patton saying the Titans are a wild card team. I think that he maybe have a little bias over there. Mike, we're 49ers fans. Could you stop this Titans bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> the no, come on. David likes the picks that you guys made a lot. Um, the Chargers, are, at Mike is saying, then Chargers are not sure last spot. Um, no, I think they're – look, we all have them in there. My wild card teams definitely differ from you guys starting – all three of them are different. So there you go. That's oh. me. Different because I'm old and I know a lot more than, than you. The <laughs> Dolphins are going to make the playoffs. Oh, for Miami. God's sake. <laughs> like, uh, Okay. All right, okay. my I have such a bad team. All right, finish. No, finish your your wild cards, and then I'll make my my bet. I'm gonna enter into the the betting with you guys here on this one. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> Real deal bets coming your way right now. I got right the now. Dolphins at eleven and six. Okay, I got the Pittsburgh Steelers, who never, ever, ever, <laughs> ever, ever have oh, a losing God. season under Mike I Tomlin. Just, like, I just can't ever. The Pittsburgh really. Steelers, the Miami Dolphins, and Again, I've been high on this team, and you guys know, Denver Broncos. Go ahead and critique me. I dare you. Bring it on. I hey, you got to take this one. If the Dolphins and <laughs> – If the Dolphins make the playoffs along with – What are the two teams that you, you named here? Denver uh, and Pittsburgh. Thank if you. the Dolphins – and the Pittsburgh Steelers make the playoffs. I will drink a beer through a hot dog straw. If those oh, two teams make the playoffs, the Dolphins oh. and the Pittsburgh Steelers make the playoffs, I will drink beer through a hot dog straw. That's how I confident I am that they're not going to – both of those teams, no way. No well, way both the Dolphins all and Steelers. Well, all three. <laughs> What all is the three, league predicated? All three, I'll do two hot dogs. <laughs> what is the league predicated on, my friends? Is the league predicated on the offensive and the defensive line of scrimmage? Is that not what it's all about? Is that not what Miami's got that big time? Pittsburgh, not so much in the offensive line, so I could totally understand that. But Denver, dude, are you kidding me? They're monsters. The game's one at the line of scrimmage. How many freaking times do I have to tell you people this? How many times do I got to tell you? 
Um, so you know what? Wind up at the line of scrimmage, the quarterback. Yeah, you know who Pittsburgh has that quarterback, Mr. Oh, Trubisky. Yeah, <laughs> that's why they're not going to make the playoffs. Okay, he's looking pretty good so far. He's looking pretty good so far. All right. Oh, Pre- so it's okay for Pre-season. Mr. Trubisky to look good in camp, but Daniel Jones improving is out of this world crazy shit that you okay. ever heard in your life. Listen to me, this you blonde ridiculous. atomic maniac. Has Daniel Jones ever taken the Giants to the freaking this playoffs once? Ridiculous. No. Ridiculous. Mitch Trubisky took the poor ass Chicago Bears to the playoffs. Two twice, twice. Ridiculous. So there's your answer. He's looking good, He's looking good in camp. I mean, I, this is just like I oh, I'm going to throw up all over this thing. You know, I'm going to throw up. Top. Pittsburgh. Like, the reason that Mitch Trubisky made it to the playoffs twice because Chicago had very good to great defenses. Pittsburgh's yeah. defense isn't very good to great. Yeah, I agree. Pittsburgh's defense not not great. No, it's not. They have a great player in T.J. Watt. But their defense Nick was not Fitzpatrick, good. Fitzpatrick, right? Devin Bush, Cam Hayward. Are you forgetting? Yeah. Did you lose your mind? Because he had a their rankings last year, though. Like, look at Pittsburgh's defensive rankings last year. Were they good? Yes, they, they were, were good. They were not a good defense last year. They, they scored 17 points a game. How the hell did they get to the playoffs, bro? What's going on here? Wow. You're smart. Bro, it, their defense was not that good last year. Like, let's pull up wow. Pittsburgh's defensive ratings. Like, they weren't a great defense last year. I don't care about ratings. I care about what happens on the field. I care about what I see and who gets knocked out and who gets T.J. Watt is sacking this week. There's a there's a reason once they got to the playoffs and they played against a real offense, the Chiefs just walked them down the field like they were taking a leisurely stroll. Like that <laughs> so yeah, they're they're not Chiefs. good. <laughs> Chiefs, that's why they were the Kansas City Chiefs, oh. and nobody was going to beat them that year. Or oh even the year my before. God, the justification. <laughs> Patient, God, you sound like me when I'm trying to buy my hundredth black tank top. Well, you know what? I really need another offensive player. This is from Athlet. I mean, wait. So it's Miami, Pittsburgh. Oh, and Denver. Denver. And Denver. We have no idea what this team is going to look like. like how they're going to match? How they're going to play? You got Tua uh, that you're all in on. I, I yes, just, yes, I am. And by the way, you know why? Can I tell you a really, really simple reason why? While I keep Mike's. Mike's statement up there because again, I know that you guys actually know he knows what he's talking about, and you think I have no idea, but he agrees with what I'm saying right now, or at least he thinks I'm on to something. All right. Now I lost what I was gonna say because I'm too old. I was gonna make a point after Nikki just made a freaking point. I figured forgot that what it was gonna be. I forgot what it was gonna be. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I said, why are like you're all in on Tua and it's not that I'm all in on Tua. I just know that he's a better quarterback than people give him credit for. That first year was bullshit with Ryan Fitzpatrick coming back in. Then Tua got hurt in his second year. When he was healthy, they were winning games. All right? Let's not have amnesia on this freaking show over the here. The defense was winning Stop the it. games. Bull. The defense was winning the games. I don't but know you where know what you are Nikki? for that eight, nine game, like, role that they went on, but the defense Nick, played a huge part of that. I'm sorry. Is defense not part of football? Is that not why Miami can't make the playoffs? Because their and offense not only got better. Not just on the defense. But their offense is getting better, and they have an excellent defense, and a coach who is innovative on offense. Tell me how they're not getting better. They were not in the quarterback that you can actually trust. <sighs> Look, Thank you, Dave. Tua, Tua did play well down the stretch. Yeah. He absolutely did. The AFC is better than it was last year. Honestly, Pittsburgh shouldn't have made the playoffs. If Brandon Faley, as you call him, would have took the tie against yeah. the Raiders, they don't even make the playoffs last year. They were, they, still 20th, had a record. they were 20th in defense last year. They weren't they a great st- defense. They still had a winning record. They were 20th in defense because they are not big on, on turnovers. They don't shine like that. They get sacks and they get you behind the line of scrimmage. Nikki, get your hands down from your forehead right now. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you why, okay? You're all bugged out about the Dolphins who just missed the playoffs, the Steelers who made the playoffs, and the Broncos who we all said just needed a quarterback. The freaking Cincinnati Bengals. Not one person and their grandmother and their people who were buried in their ancestors for years had the Bengals, not just in the playoffs, but going to the Super Bowl last year. So tell me how this is not possible. Tell me. Tell me now. Tell me. We tell did, me. So what's the, what's the bet on your side? If For me, I will drink beer through a hot dog straw if Miami, Denver, <laughs> and the Steelers make the playoffs. What will you do if Cincinnati makes the playoffs? Okay, well, since I, according to everybody on the planet over here, went out on a limb by picking these great teams that win at the line of scrimmage, 
What will I do? Um, since you're going to be making a fool of yourself by drinking, you know, hot dogs out of a freaking straw. What the hell are you, are you doing? I will see that video of the guy with the hot dog straw at yeah. Yankee Stadium. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I have. Seen it. <laughs> yeah, it's That's nasty as yeah. shit. It is. Since I am, a I know I don't have to do it because this is going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Since I'm a picky eater, I will allow you to pick anything you want me in the world to eat, and I'll eat it live on the show. Okay. How's that? Okay. Fair? That's just virtual normal, virtual like, handshake on this bit. That's so okay. So it could just yeah. be normal, like a piece of turkey or something with a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I got to keep quiet what I actually do eat. That's right. I got to keep really quiet. Two will lead the league in five-yard passes. Yeah, I don't give a shit. He's, he's got the 75% completion percentage. Oh, okay. Oh You're win. All right. So we agreed on the division winners, but we sure as hell don't agree on the so You guys have, the, have the same seven playoff teams. which is But this is what I've been saying for, since we started the show. You two freaks cahoots behind my back, and you pick the same thing all the time. It started in year one when you had the New Orleans Saints and the Baltimore Ravens, you homer freaks of life. <laughs> Who had the Saints and the Ravens in the Ooh, Super Bowl? Who's a Ravens homer? I am not a Ravens fan. Do we forget yeah. the Giants? You Ravens were not going to pick the Giants. Otherwise, you would have been thrown off the show and you would never have the I million would not shows that you have. Giants, but don't call me a Ravens homer. I mean, let's. They did <laughs> like completely destroy the Giants in the Super Bowl. So I. Well, you're I trying not, not to ruin a marriage. So I, at least that's, that's no, why no, you're. No, no, no. Just because you marry somebody of a different fandom does not mean you marry into that fandom. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> okay. Especially if you beat your team in the Super Bowl. No. That is true. Not just beat. They beat the shit out of you. That's what happened. I know. Yeah. We, don't, we don't have to bring it up. But I no, we can. Have, we can talk about it for a few minutes no, if you like to. Shout out to Maryland <laughs> because they got bomb crab cakes. And they got really bomb crabby tater tots at that stadium. So shout out to M&T Bank. Uh, MetLife, okay. up your game. There it is. Hey, we talked about Maryland last week. That's right. That was a big uh, knowledge with Nikki, which unfortunately we're not getting this week, guys, because Nikki's lazy. So we're not going to do it this week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <that's> <laughs> Uh, all right, the NFC. Let's see how much we agree on this one. I really hope it's not as much because I was really shocked that – well, actually so not shocked. Your, or, who's your one seed in the AFC? Is it Buffalo? I didn't tell you yet. I didn't even do my seeding. I'm sorry. Oh, the I AFC? Every year. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. AFC? I'm sorry. No, no, no. I, I got the Bills because I got them at 13 and 4. Okay. And the reason them. why, D, is because um, I feel like they have an easier path than – the AFC West teams, the AFC North teams. Um, so I feel like they'll have an easier path, and that's going to make it tough for teams to go up there in the playoffs and play ball uh, in the cold weather. No, that's true. You got the same? Yeah, I got Bills one seat. Nikki, can you see, according to your records, who, uh, who you may have as one seat or you're not sure? No big deal. Uh, yeah, I probably have Buffalo. I never do the seating, though. I always skip it. Right, so you can say at the end of the year that you were right about it, like the Bengals no. that you had. A good year. <laughs> like, why does the seeding like actually matter? I feel like if you nail the playoff teams, then then fine. Did you read the title of the show today? It's an NFL prediction show. I, I feel like I'm talking to a brick wall. Go ahead and put up your brick wall in the background. Go ahead. It's, it's not working talk. for me today. I, it'll be a perfect time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's we all agree. Wow, we all agree. Okay, on the Bills, I'm um, having a really big year. Okay, NFC East, Nikki. This is your division. You want to kick it off, or you want to wait till last? No, I'll kick it off. Uh, I have yeah. the Eagles winning. Unfortunately, I will agree with you. I think they win 12 games this year. They won nine last year. So I think they're good for three more with the additions they made. And um, the coach who I have uh, a lot of high hopes on. So I agree with her there. Uh, what do you think, Dave? It's a try, try, trifecta. I am going right. with the Eagles as well. Not only to win the NFC East, but your one seed in the NFC this year will Ooh. be the Philadelphia Eagles. Oh, oh my. Wow. Nobody has That's been deep. listening to his partner for a few weeks over here. Okay. <laughs> I see what's up. I see yes. what's up they right now. The one seed, it. Philadelphia Eagles. And for a little bonus, if you're a betting man, you can make a bet on FanDuel, last undefeated team, Philadelphia Eagles. Oh, very interesting. Oh, I like when the real deal bets come out on the third and three podcast. I like that. We, I like we love that real deal bets. We do. Yeah, their schedule very is super easy. easy to start. I don't think they have a real challenge for like week 10 or 11. So last undefeated team, Philadelphia. Wow. Eagles. Wow. If you're saying they don't have a real challenge for 10 or 11 weeks, then that must mean that you think they're really damn good, obviously. So I do. Yeah. So do I. I agree with you. Um, most of us think that the Eagles are going to win 
We got one. Uh, yeah, James thinks that Dallas is going to win uh, by going 11 and six, which you never know. Anything can happen in the NFL. How about the North? It's still the Packers division because I think yeah. Packers all the way running the ball. Aaron Rodgers is back to back MVP and their defense is better. Why not? Right, guys? Yeah, I got Packers at 12 and five this year. Same. Yeah. Same. See, there we go. All in agreement. See, great minds actually do think alike. Your mom was right. Great minds do think alike. <laughs> What's Mike saying over here? I want some of that. Damien is drinking. She's <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Minnesota 12 and 5. David, are you crazy? <laughs> maybe he's oh, not crazy. Man. What the hell do I know? What do I know? They maybe got maybe he's on to something there. I don't know. Yes. Maybe he is. He could if be. They, they, he'll definitely get a shout out for sure. It's not a prediction you forget right there. So yeah. if they do that. Oh. <laughs> he'll definitely be getting some shout outs for sure. Oh, he sure as hell thinks they're going to be in the playoffs. And um, Mikey Patton thinks that they should just rename the NFC North the Green Bay North. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It's true. true. Because uh, once they get rid of Rodgers, they're going to find like the next great quarterback. You know, that's just how it works. Bart Starr, Brett Favre, Aaron Rodgers. It's Go on and on. Yeah. They could be Jordan Love, though. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> yeah, he's he's never looked good. Like usually, you'll have a moment. Like you'll have a game. Even Ryan Leaf had preseason games. Like, you know, <laughs> like <laughs> Jordan Love hasn't even had preseason games where he's looked good. Uh, uh, David smoking that good stuff. I know, Mikey. I know that was an interesting. Oh, now he's calling you out on a bet. Oh, I love it. Make real deal bets on the show. I love this freaking show. We bring out the best and worst in everybody. It's a beautiful thing. All right, both got Eagles. Both got Packers. Do we all have the Bucks? Because I do, Nikki. In I the do. NFC. Yeah? yeah, right. Well, I, got the, I got the Bucks winning AFC South as well. So no Homer Simpson here for that. Good for you. Good for you. All right. All right. Yeah, I think you were afraid of another real deal bet. That's what was happening. You were afraid of a real deal bet coming out. That was. We need a sound. We should have a sound effect for next year, like when someone wants a real deal bet, like a shoo, yes. or like a yeah, <laughs> like a graphic pops up. Real deal bet. Yep, we, we got to talk to William it. Phillips. We got to talk to William Phillips too, because, by the like way, we got great advertising for D's. Uh, true, for his betting, yeah. Well, Mike thinks that the Saints win the South. Mikey Patton thinks the Saints win the South, but D David thinks the Bucks go fourteen and three. That's a big record, right Ooh, there. That's big. That's, big. That's big. Now, Dam Damien is um, not subjective. Trey, I'm sorry, he just does not know how to do that. He is the Homer Simpson of the show. He always will be. But it does not mean he doesn't know his football. I will be very honest. He's well beyond his years in football. And I got this kid at work. I work. I call him a kid because I'm fucking 97 years old. But he's really good. He really knows his shit. I'm very impressed by him. Very imp I don't like to give names out on the show, so I'm not going to say nothing. Um, all right. So NFC South, we just went over now. The NFC West. Are we going to make it another trifecta, Nikki? Yeah, I believe so. No. I mean, come at me now. I took the ram. <laughs> so just come on. Bring it on. I'm not going to come at you. I'm not going to come at you. They seem to be the best built team in that division because they do have a more proven quarterback. So by a little itty bit, I will agree with you and Mr. Patton over here that the Rams win. D, tell me the 49ers win this division, please. Uh, I can't. I got to go Rams. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, I got to go Rams there. Like it's, uh, it's, yeah, they're just too talented. Okay. So check this out, guys. Out of the one, two, three, four, carry the one. To minus the two point. 14 teams make the playoffs, and we have eight of the same ones. You morons, all right, already have the exact same playoff teams going. What do you think of the odds of that really happening? We haven't gone over our NFC wild cards yet, but are you freaking kidding me? That's not going to happen. And if that does happen, I do relinquish 100% forever bequeathing the sports profit name over to you guys and you can use it whenever the hell you want. That should be it. You got to change your, your social media. I will. I will. If you guys pull that off, I will, I will change it that day that the regular season ends. I swear to God, I swear to God, I will name it the sports punk ass. That's exactly it. Would be, it would be nuts if we got the same wild card teams. We got all 14 teams. That would be crazy. Well, let, let's be real. You guys have not disagreed on anything yet, and you probably won't disagree on anything now. So why don't we get to it? And let's just ruin everything. All right. Who wants to go first? Uh, okay, great. I'll go first. Excellent. Here we go. <laughs> Andre, I do have here. the Saints. I do have the Saints. Saints are in for me. Uh, they're a solid football team, man. And if James Winston play, like, look, my only issue with them right now is 
And I know it's a little weird, but Dennis Allen got a really bad rap in, with the Raiders, so it wasn't like a great job for him. He's been with this team for a long time, so I don't want to say that Sean Payton made everything. I do like the Saints. I do like my 49ers. So I like both our teams, D. Nikki, I don't think the Giants are good enough to make the playoffs, but I do think the Detroit Lions are. Yes, I do. Oh, I'm, putting them in. Oh, I'm putting them in. Go ahead. Bring it in your damn comment section. Okay, I can take it. The Detroit Lions are going to be this year's kind of Cincinnati Bengals. They're not going to go that far. I'm not saying that. But they're going to have a good record. They're going to be good. Oh, Detroit in the playoffs. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Detroit. Right. Bring it back. Do you have edibles over there? Because, like, what kind are you taking? Like, maybe I need to change what <laughs> I say, Yeah, whatever it is, I need to upgrade mine to your, yeah. your fashion yeah. over there. Yeah. <laughs> Come on back down. So you got Lions at 9 and 8 being the last team to make it in? The Lions would be the last team to make it in. Uh, let me see, actually. Let me get that record. Let me get that 100%. No, I'm sorry. I have them at 10 and 7. I got oh. I got the Saints at 11 oh. and 6. Yep, I got the Saints at 11 and 6, and I is 11 and 6, and I got the Lions at 10 and 7. And I can't wait to laugh in your ugly faces when I'm right. Can't wait. <laughs> okay. Nikki, your option. You want to go now? <laughs> uh, sure. I, I just, you know, Saints, San Fran, Minnesota for me. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> we, we agree on all 14 teams. I'm fine. I got the Saints. <laughs> I, got, <laughs> I got the Saints at 11 and 6. 49ers at 10 and 7, Vikings at 9 and 8, getting into the playoffs. So All right, is, so we, we agree. That's yeah. because we are right. <laughs> we don't have Detroit in the freaking playoffs winning 10 games. It was like the NFC oh, was really God. weak this year. It was really tough to come up with that yeah. seven team. I was like, who's even going to be a playoff quality team oh, yeah. after the Saints and the 49ers? It was really tough, but I had to go Minnesota over Detroit. Yeah, yeah they're like the next – Best logical pick. Yeah. Is this now, if not I had the Giants in Minnesota's place, you would like <laughs> completely lose your mind. No, I wouldn't because I went with the Lions who only won three games last year. Oh, you season. wouldn't now. Oh, I find no. that really hard to believe. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> we already have our Homer Simpson on the show. There's no doubt about it. I, I I am I am not surprised at all. I am disgusted at you two. That you have gone on and spoke behind my back on this show, all right, and said, we're going to go with the same playoff team. So, you know what? We'll somehow beat Jay together. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Maybe you got to get a Peloton. You don't know what goes on on that. <laughs> I ain't going on no damn Peloton. I already made two bets on this show, and I'm going to win them both anyway. What is Mike's? I think Nick Jason needs to perform Lose Yourself if the Lions don't make the playoffs. <laughs> yes. yes. I want to dance at that. Mm -hmm. Hey, I already talked about Michael Jackson. Yo, no, I moonwalked all over this shit, so I can handle myself on the dance floor. I can do it. I'm good. I can handle it. Okay, all right, well, you guys are ridiculous. Oh, yeah, we're, no, this is we're awful. ridiculous, Dave. Okay. Well, <laughs> lucky we have a few more categories to go over do here. We? I mean, many. how are, I mean, what was left? <laughs> Just championships, Super Bowls, and if you'd like to pick a Super Bowl MVP, I know, Nikki, you can't see that far into the future because you are not – Profit at all, but I could do it. I could do it, and probably D could so do it. Jared all. Goff gonna be like your Super Bowl MVP. <laughs> You're not gonna make the Super Bowl ding that, but I would tell you that uh, if they did, he probably would be. No, he will not be. He will not be. I'm not. Look, I don't love Jared Goff. I like that team a lot. I'm big on that team. Yeah, I, I, I do think, think they're gonna improve, but the playoffs, I just can't go that far with it. <laughs> I, I get it. But you know that it, that two, three, four teams come out of nowhere every year, and they're like, "Hey, how you doing? I'm here." You my, know what my, happened? Two, my two teams that didn't make the playoffs last year that are going to make it this year are the Saints and the Vikings. Okay, I agree with one of them. I agree with one of them. <laughs> you and Nikki agree on the same fourteen <laughs> teams. Yes, yeah, that's not. We should go play the. I should go play the lottery. Like that's. Not yeah, really. I think that's a sign <laughs> from the universe that we're I about don't. to be rich or something. To be a reverse sign. I don't know. Thank you, David. We appreciate that comment, man. Believe me, we have a lot of freaking Maybe fun. Our Super love Bowl. Maybe our Super Bowl picks are different. Okay. Well, why don't we show one of our uh, one of our boys picks over here? David Primetime is picking Bucks versus Bills in the Super Bowl. And hey, Brady that's wins. my pick. Is it really now? Yeah. Really? Brady wins okay. and retires. No, Brady wins and retires. Yeah. 
Oh. Well, he should retire after that. So, okay. So, all right. Despite the kind of negativity I threw at you regarding their offensive line and all this and that, you think that they're going to be able to go all the way. And you think that a 45-year-old man who, yes, is in shape, and I know that you are completely in love with him as a football player. Brent, <laughs> don't be worried about it. It's all good, bro. So, all right. So, you got Tampa and Buffalo. So, you agree with David. Very interesting. I do. Yeah. I do. All right. Buffalo's a hot ticket right now. Tampa, I worry about a little bit. Let's see what Patton's got before Mike, before, uh, I'm sorry, before D, before you say yours. What is uh, Mike you got over here? 49ers or Ravens. Wow. Or Ravens or New Orleans. So, holy shit. That's very interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah, a couple of us will take that on the panel, no doubt. And, uh, all right, one more thing from Mike. I got to go over here, D, before uh, we, we get yours. 49ers. <laughs> No, that's the last one. I'm sorry. I missed one. Oh, yeah. These picks that get all riled up. Yeah, yeah. We do get riled up. That's what we do. That's what we do with the show. We have a lot of him. <laughs> it's beautiful. All right. Here we go. Let's see. <laughs> I can't believe that you guys have the same exact teams. I really got this is unbelievable. Maybe he has a different Super Bowl pick. Let him go. Let him pick. Let, let's do it, D. What's the Super Bowl pick? Super Bowl last pick. Last year you had Buffalo 49ers. Yes, I did have Buffalo 49ers last year. I am sticking with the Buffalo Bills. I can't you know, I can't drop this team, so I'm sticking with them to come out the AFC. Uh, the team that's going to come out the NFC, I feel like this is a surprise year for the NFC. Like, none of the top teams are, like, so dominant to where you're like, this team is going to make it. So this is a year where a team come out of nowhere, and that team will be the New Orleans Saints. We'll make oh, it to the Super Bowl out of the NFC. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> It'll be Buffalo versus New Orleans in the Super Bowl. You heard it here first. Buffalo versus the Saints in the Super Bowl. But but I can't. I can't. My Saints will lose to the Buffalo Bills in the Super Bowl. I got Bills 30, oh. Saints 24, oh, okay, Josh you. Allen, Super Bowl MVP, and regular season MVP this year. Now everything's okay. They're going to make the Super Bowl, but they're going to lose. Oh, my God. Okay. You know what? They are a good team. I'm not going to argue. And both of you guys' picks are great. They really, really are. They're totally great. I have absolutely no problem with it. But yes, Damien got his Simpson shirt on under his jersey. Yeah, freaking what? What? What did that little schmuck used to say? Cowabunga or some crap like that? <laughs> or whatever you saying. That's what I have to say. You're, you're going to get a cowabunga every time you make another homer statement. That's what's going to happen with you when you make a homer statement. You get a cowabunga. I'm going to try to get a sound like that. We need, yeah, we need that. We need a real deal with that graphic. Yeah. Yeah, we need all this sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah, we need more things. Right again, graphic. Yeah. That's why I wanted to shout out William Phillips for, for well, William Phillips. I will speak in English now because he was awesome. I mean, making, you know, yeah. all of our uh, intros. What a great job. He did. I can't do that shit. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm like, dude, how much money you want? He's like, yeah, it's all good. I'm like, I love you, man. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Jay. All right. I'm going to make it so you can go eat and do your freaking Pilates yeah. and whatever the hell else you're going to do. I agree with you guys. The Bills will represent the AFC. It is, it's their year. It's their year to represent the AFC. And they will be my NFC representative, which I'm going to make one of my co-hosts extremely pissed off right now and probably will not speak to her or text with her until, I don't know, March of next year. The Eagles. The Ooh. Philadelphia Eagles. They're going to come out of the NFC. I am not in love with anyone in the NFC. The Green Bay Packers, to me, are the best. That's what I'm saying. That's why the Saints can come out of the NFC. There's no one who, like last year, I was like. But you're a homer. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm a homer. <laughs> we're good. Like, if we were bad, if we were the Giants, I wouldn't be picking us. Like, I was, <laughs> and I'm not I have a right to pick us. <laughs> Yeah, to be honest, is what a homer says. Yes, you were exactly <laughs> right, Mike. You know that. Oh my God! But no, I, in, in all reality, I have no problem with any of your Super Bowl picks whatsoever. Nikki, just to refresh us, you got Bucks Bills with the Bucks, Bucks winning Bills. and Tom Brady actually retiring. Okay, so you got the Bucks winning, so he would win his eighth individual Super Bowl. D, you got, and again, I'll try not to laugh, but go ahead. <laughs> I got Bills Saints, but I got the Bills winning Josh Allen MVP. Okay. I also have the Bills winning the Super Bowl this year, and I am a little freaked out at the fact that we all have them in the Super Bowl. So, so that, that means a shit year is coming for them. Sorry, Buffalo. Yeah. yeah it's, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. They're going to go 3-14. and 14. 
Yeah. We tell you, I know that Josh Allen's going to get hurt the first game. Oh, God forbid, knock on wood. We don't want to see that. But I would agree. He would be the MVP in a 32 28 victory over Philly, 333 yards, three touchdowns. And that's because we're on third and three. That's the way we roll, baby. That's what it's all about. I had a great time, guys. I mean, I don't agree with most of the shit that you said, but I had a lot of fun. No, we don't agree with most of the shit you said either. So. I know that. I know that. But I am the yeah, prophet, I, at least for now. Yeah, I knew this was going to be a fun show. That's why I said at the beginning, this was going to be a spicy episode. It wasn't going to yes. be. Our episodes are always good. They're always nicely flavored. But this one is going to be extra spicy. And that's what we definitely what we got today. And oh, like yeah. I said, if the Dolphins, Denver, <laughs> oh, my God, and freaking Pittsburgh make yep. the playoffs, I will drink beer through a hot dog straw. Got my that is so messed up. I have to have all three. Can you give me two out of three? No. Is that fair? Yeah. That's fair. Because originally he yeah. said two out of three. Okay. No. I'll, if Miami and Pittsburgh. All right. You pick your playoff, teams. Okay. I, I will drink. I will do the hot dog straw for a beer. But it was two hot dogs. Like So if all three make it. Yeah. If all three dogs. make it, I'll double, double fist the hot dogs. <laughs> all right. So if none of mine make it, then I will eat. Three meals of anything that you say that I am surely not going to want to eat. So that is the deal. All right. So now I've made bets with both of you guys. That's the funny thing. The that. stuff that you don't like is like normal stuff. People are like yeah. really that's the bet. You made him yeah. eat a turkey right. sandwich. Cereal. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, like. <laughs> oh man, you made him eat a hamburger. He's on it too. Oh god. <laughs> so pathetic. Oh my goodness. Oh, but I had a blast, man. And I, you know what, really, everybody who chimed in today, thank you. We had a great time. We love putting your comments up there. We love getting your guys' input. So yeah, it's we a hell of a lot of the comments. There are podcasts out there who charge to put your comments up there on the screen with us. Oh, and we do not do that. Gross. We would never do that to you guys. Not in a million years. Never. This is free B three and third. Third and three, or whatever you want to fucking say, because I can't speak English after all this talking mm-hmm. today. But damn, I had a lot of fun. Hey, David, take care, man. Thanks a lot for everything, bro. We appreciate that. Way to shout us out, man. Good stuff. So, guys, prediction show in the books. And I, it is recorded. I have it on paper, screen, everything. You know, it's in my old Rolodex from 1976. So, I got everything. We're all good. We're good. We got the whole thing. So, before we get out of here, Nikki, I know that you have like 98 freaking thousand things going on this week but could you give us a couple of you know what we should be looking out for yeah it's all right tomorrow most important one of the most important days of the year no not my birthday yet it is the real deal podcast live draft damien is going to host all of us maniacs i don't know how he's going to do it but he's (laughs) talented he just does it so effortlessly um so i'm looking forward to that looking forward to doing some shots um saturday i will be on courtney harding's um 100th episode 1245 is also my birthday you can send presents yep i will accept presents um what else am i doing Right, so Tuesday, Tuesday, of course, don't forget, is the new reality show, The Trenches, and I am playing for charity, which is the Leonard Marshall Foundation, which goes to help make sure students, faculty, everybody is inclusive and safe on college campuses. Giants Rush, and of course, Wednesday, I'm back here. And Sunday, September 11th, is the premiere of Channel Side Bets fantasy show. Uh, We will be on at 1130 on Sunday, so... Stay tuned okay. for that. I said name two, not 22. <laughs> <laughs> I got to promote, you know, promote. promote the shows and the charity. And don't forget, you will be able to vote for me and Gladys. We are one team. Vote for fan favorites because that just translates into more donations for the charity we're playing for. Well, my dear, you know, you got two votes right here. That's without a doubt. Don't even have to even look at it because I know how great it's going to I can't wait. I cannot wait to check that out. God, Nick, you're doing fantastic. And D, every day, I, I don't know. I still don't get how you have more hours in the day than everybody else because you put out so much content. It's fabulous, man. It really is. I love it. You do a great job. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, last week, I told you guys about an audition I did for a boxing podcast for a network. They did like it. 
Uh, so I do Good. have a, a meeting with them later this week to go over the details. They want me to host their boxing podcast and their basketball podcast. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Never going to talk to you guys ever again. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah. I got left by. Look, I invite these two assholes on the show and all of a sudden <laughs> – Three years later, unbelievable! I love you guys so much. I'm so happy for you. That's great. That yeah. is great. Yeah, I appreciate it for sure. So I'm looking forward to that, and I definitely will have the big announcement of probably next week of when you can catch it and where at and all that good stuff. Uh, but as far as as me at the real deal WDA on all platforms, Instagram is now the real deal WDA two. Unfortunately, my original page got hacked, so it's the real deal yes. WDA two on instagram but everything else is the real deal wda so go ahead and follow me get all that great content that jason was referencing earlier you'll get real deal bets a lot more coming during the season of course uh the podcast real deal with damian adams like nikki mentioned we're doing the real deal draft tomorrow so we won't broadcast the draft live but you'll be able to catch it right afterwards on youtube and also on the podcast stream as well it'll be very very funny very very knowledgeable nine great knowledgeable people doing the show with me so if that's what makes it easy for me to host is that we have nine people that know what they're doing and know how to play fantasy football so i'm looking forward to that but yeah just follow me at the real deal wda on all platforms real deal wda wda2 excuse me on <laughs> instagram all right and it's the second edition yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey, Trey and Mike uh, both giving you uh, congrats, Damien, on that. That's absolutely awesome. Well, thank That's you, guys. I have tiny little news of my own. Um, I may be able to get into the press box a couple of times this year for the Miami Dolphins games. I'm not sure which ones. Oh, one is going to be probably against the New England. The other one is probably going to be against the Jets. I'll get on the field at the end of the game and hopefully get a couple of interviews. Nothing is set in stone yet, so I'm trying to ride your coattails over here. I'm trying to keep up with you two crazy kids. But uh, anyway, everything else is freaking gravy. Love it. Love this show. Therapy for this Wednesday night is a beautiful thing. Third and three podcast. Power 32 podcast. We'll be going strong all year long. All 32 teams. I gave you guys the rundown last week when I did my top 10 quarterbacks, wide receivers, and running backs. And I appreciate all the feedback. And guys, yeah, keep checking this out on YouTube. I know it's kind of new, but um, we're getting a lot of listeners over there. So, you know, whether it's YouTube, Spotify, Apple, um, Facebook, uh, wherever the fuck. I mean, we're all over the damn place. Just watch us. Love us. Have a good time. We love you. We're out of here for now. We got more for you next week. We have week one and Thursday, the day after, we will be predicting the game. Oh, my God. It's going to be so much fun. Yesterday's price is not today's price. Give me a second. I'm trying to select the appropriate weapon. Uh, watch where you step in. Them snakes up around you know they connected uh when i was a kid my grandmama told me i can't go to heaven so i stopped praying and asking for blessings and started preparing for my i'ma get it got nothing to lose i'm all in walking the edge don't fall in enough of the lies don't apologize i don't understand are you foreign this is the place this is the site grab all your people and log in i'm waiting don't care how long it's gonna take